Women's uh, World Championship. And together with me, we have uh, Zepp Zoltan. Yes, thank you, Bruno, for the introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Seb Zoltan, but it will be easier if just uh, we say Zozo, so just call me Zozo, it's the simplest way. Uh, I started orienteering in 2000, and uh, since then, of course, in Mirkuracuk, we had some events in Romania, but this great event, as you said, we had it only in 96. Since then, we had only in 2010 uh, ski orienteering European Championships and in 2015 uh, European Youth Orienteering Championships. So let's see who is our third presenter, third speaker, coming from Latvia, Ivars Bacis. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you, Bruno. Thank you, Zoltan. Uh, Actually, for me, it's the first uh, GVOC as a speaker, but I have been a speaker since 2018 in the major championships in uh, foot orienteering, um, MTB orienteering, and also ski orienteering. So uh, the weather uh, situation here in Mayamare with a really nice uh, summer temperature of around uh, 26 uh, degrees. There is uh, still some possibility for some showers during the race, but I think that it's going to be really, really perfect weather for uh, this uh, competition uh, this evening. Uh, when it comes to the terrain and courses, so uh, today's uh, terrain is like a typical Eastern Europe residential area with uh, large building blocks and uh, some gardens with uh, some edges on it. Uh, as for the women's course today, the women's course has 3.8 kilometers with uh, 14 controls and it's totally flat course with only 5 meters of climbing. So you can see on the big screen and on the pictures at home, uh, this is the animation from the women's course. So the arena is really on the south uh, side, south uh, east corner of uh, the map. Am I live? Yeah, but you have to tell me when I'm live. I so now, now we see the start triangle right there, and then a really short, uh, small leg to control number one. And there's uh, some uh, out of bound areas around there, so it's not totally as the runners for sure have expected in the beginning. Then, then some mix of mid, long and short legs before the runners arrive at the long and decisive leg on the women's course from control 11 to control 12. At control nine, we will have the first uh, split time and then uh, we will have the TV from control 15 to control 16 where we have the second split time and then the runners will continue to come south to the arena and to finish their course. So 3.8 kilometers course for the women, 24 controls. As for the start list, uh, we will start at uh, 5 uh, for uh, 16.30. Uh, the first starter will be Ardes Macmillan. And that will be in like three minutes. Yes, yes. So two and a half minutes for the first starter to go out into the streets of uh, Bayamare. So we will have uh, more than 330 at least today together. Women will compete, so we'll move a little bit less. Yes, and uh, the big favorites in the women's class, uh, we'll say it's a little bit by start order, so the biggest, one of the biggest favorites will be almost the first to start. She will start uh, at uh, 16.35, Anna Karlova from Czech Republic, then some other big favorites like Vitoria Mog, Hel Sasson is on from Sweden. The biggest favorite for today should be Rita Marumaroshi from Hungary, then Evalina Oyanaho, Pia Youngvik. These are the main favorites for today. And of course, let's not forget Penelope Salmon from New Zealand. 
she's also one of the favorites. Yeah, on the men's side uh, from the top at 10. Yeah, and then the, now the course animation for the men uh, in the men's class. Uh, 4.3 kilometers course with 28 controls. Again, totally flat course, only 10, minute, 10 meters of uh, climbing. So again, uh, the course starts with a relatively short leg, and, but there's an extra loop there for the man before, again, another big and decisive leg, this time from control 13 to control 14. Then the runners will go to the same TV section as the women, and we'll have the second split time there at control 20, and they will start coming uh, towards uh, the finish here at the arena in Bayamare. So we will have very fast races here in Bayamare, and uh, of course, let's bet some winning times. What do you think, Bruno? Yeah, the expected winning times both for the men and the women, according to the bulletin, is 14 minutes. Uh, maybe I think it was going to be, it's going to be really hard for these juniors to do 14 minutes. Maybe they will go a little bit over 15. But you can see on the animation there, the long leg for the men. So there's clearly distinctive route choices there. Uh, the shortest one, the green one, it's not so easy to see because the passage, you need, really need to be careful to see all the small passages through the green. When I was, uh, when we were looking yesterday's also to the course, I told you that the, the first one that pops out is the red one. Yeah, I would take the red one probably if I would be competing, but uh, if you ask me, many of them will go through the longest one. Yeah, it's a really easy route choice there. And because they don't have to think, just run straight and that's all. And if you are running really fast, it's going to be a really good route choice. It's only 50 meters longer than this, the shortest one, the green one. Yeah, but uh, today, for me, it's going to be much about the speed of the runners. You really need to be really strong in your running speed if you want to get the gold medal today. We had a test runner uh, just arriving before we started our streaming and I asked him how much he ran and he told me that it was 17 minutes 45 seconds so uh, I think that the winning time will be around 15 minutes so if you ask me I bet on 15. <laughs> okay so now we have at the start you can see in the pictures uh, Kaya Jorgensen from uh, New Zealand. And uh, yeah, Mateusz and, Kula from Poland. Yeah, and you and see the fans here from New Zealand. From, the New, from New Zealand. So let's hear you once again, New Ooh. Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, of course, remember 2017, the World Junior Championship from Finland when uh, Hayes uh, took the super medal in the sprint. And then Kaya Jorgensen, most of uh, you here and uh, at home probably you recognize this name, but not from New Zealand, from Denmark, because her father is Karsten Jorgensen, former uh, medalist at WOC from Denmark, now living in New Zealand. Yeah, if you remember, of course, uh, from last year, it was a very interesting situation on the men's side. It was five medalists and three took bronze medal with the same time in the finish. And it was Sweden who won and Norway also, two Norwegians among medalists, but this year, also other countries could take the medals. For example, Swiss with Benjamin Wey, who was seventh last year. His teammate Pascal Schauer finishing eleventh last year. Also from Baltic countries, Jürgen Jonas, Estonian. He was best from Baltic countries, completing top ten last year. Also, Brage Takler from Norway, among top ten last year. Ninth he was. And Spain, hoping for Gonzalo Ferrando. He was twelfth in the sprint event in the Junior World Championship last year, but he won the European Youth Championship Sprint event this season in Bulgaria. Also Sweden hoping for Noel Braun, the long-distance champion who was 15th last year in a sprint. Because now it's Schmidt that is going and Schmidt is already two minutes running time. So maybe one minute of delay, but it's not on time. Now I'm muted. I'm muted. Okay, so we can see on the screen already some GPS. And we can see that Schmid and Kula, it's already on the way to the second control. Yeah, the Swiss Schmidt was the 30th 
last year in its sprint event. Best result for him came in the middle distance when he was among top 20. For Kula 74, the Polish was in a sprint event. And for Polish Kula sprint distance was the best. 93rd, he was in a long and 103rd outside top 100, he finished in middle distance. But much better for Kula. It was uh, two years ago in Lithuania in Vilnius. The sprint event, he was 14th among the European Youth Championship competitors. A little bit about the local athletes. Uh, I would say that in the men's course, the first one who will start is uh, Lukas Tomasz. And he will start at 16.38, so very soon. And uh, on the women's race, we have Andrea Manu starting at 16.37, so just one minute behind Lucas. So we are expecting our runners already going in a few minutes. So uh, we could uh, see on the screen uh, from uh, Switzerland, Elia Ren started with bib number 171. Last year he was 71st in the sprint, but much better result came for the Swiss Ren in the middle distance when he was just outside top 10 into the 13th position. So Elia Ren from Switzerland just started together with uh, Paula Pavlin from Croatia and they are on their way to the first control. And now we can see a runner from Portugal, Dinis Lopes. Yeah, Dinis Lopes on the start place, together with uh, Emma Jonas from Estonia. And Dinis competed last year at home soil in Portugal, but not in a sprint, I guess. Uh, no, yeah, he was uh, running last year, but he's still a really young runner, so he still has a lot of uh, years ahead of him in the junior classes. And uh, the next to start will be one of the favorites for today. Hanna Karlova, the bronze medalist from uh, the sprint last year in Portugal. She is here on the start line as one of the favorites. We know that uh, her year has not been uh, the best, a lot of work at university, so she's a bit unsure about her shape here, but she's one of the runners that we should be looking out for the top positions today, that's for sure. And we must say that Anna Karlova is the only medalist from last year competing this year, but the Norwegian uh, peak was uh, close to her with a fourth place. Yeah, but Pia Youngby, the fourth uh, from last year, she's also here and also eager to get a medal that uh, get out of her hands last year. And so British and Ukrainian runner right now on the screen, uh, sorry, Anna Karlova from Czech Republic and the British runner Charlie Rennie. And Charlie Rennie is debuting his first uh, appearance at the World Junior Championships. Also, his last year in the junior category. So last year for Great Britain, the best result in a sprint event came for Peter Molly. Peter Molly was 12th, and then Grierson was just behind him in the 13th position. Okay, now we can see again the GPS on the screen and uh, they are already going to control number four. Then very close will be the control number five and the decision should be made whether you go right or left. And we can see that both of them are running from the right side to control number five. Both Swiss, Ren and Schmidt. This is synced, so we see that Elia Ren is slightly ahead of uh, Yoshi Schmidt right there at control number five. So Schmidt and Ren started almost in the same time, only one Bulgarian between the two Swiss. Of course, as expected here, sometimes the GPS goes a little bit over the buildings. These are really tall buildings here, so uh, 
uh, it's as expected the GPS accuracy here it's not really the best but we can really understand and I can tell you that the passage there going to control number six it's so so tight so tight that passage uh, when they are cutting to go to control number six uh, both the Swiss we are following now with a very different different performance last year Ren was 71st and Schmidt was a top 30 finisher in a sprint Yesterday we had an opening ceremony. We could see all of the 41 countries competing at the JWOC 2023. And between them we have, of course, the northern countries who have a big tradition in orienteering. Romania has not a big tradition in orienteering, but we are trying our best and we are very, very proud and honored to host this JWOC 2023 after 27 years. So we are really happy and I am also honored to be one of the speakers here. And now we can see our first local runner. It's uh, Lucas Tomas. He is from here, from Biasprie. And he is running right now already to the first control. He's a young athlete and uh, he was also competing at the AOC a few weeks ago. 98 in the sprint. He competed on the winter ski as well. Yeah, he was in Latvia. Uh, you know him. So he was also competing in ski orienteering competitions. And now he's on home ground. So he can compete in Bayamare, almost in his hometown. And uh, of course, it's uh, the additional pressure to run in home soil, but uh, it's. Of course, some, some of them can hold this pressure and some of them won't. So we will see who can yeah, go so through this pressure. Now on the start line, Fruzina Mog from Hungary, also one of the runners that we should be paying attention. She was 26 on uh, jaywalk uh, last year so this is the last jaywalk for her and uh, for sure she will try to get a place on the top 10 today. And together with her started the uh, Turkish uh, Turgut Koshre last year in the junior category. He competed in Portugal last year finishing 140th in a sprint and that was his only appearance last year in his junior world championships. And, and, uh, Yoshi Schmidt now are doing there at uh, long route choice in the men's class and you're seeing that he's taking a different route choice than we were expecting but I think that now he will convert to the red route choice. He's cutting there a little bit the corner and then probably he will go on the red route choice. We will have a fifth version, Schmidt version. No, I think in my eyes that, that route choice is sh shorter than the red one because he's cutting a little bit so probably it will be 640 meters or something like that. Yeah, but, but now he's, he's taking a Now he's wrong. making a mistake. Ooh. Changing his mind. No, no, it's just uh, just some small GPS mistake. Okay. Everything's on control for Joshi Schmidt. Because he cannot fly over the building. Oh, no. No, no. <laughs> so he's running right near a church in a park and I think that's maybe the most easiest to follow after that he goes into the flats some tight spaces to run and of course afterwards he arrives to the control now at the start we have again one athlete from Australia so Let's hear if we have some Aussies here at this arena. Do we have them? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, just two weeks ago, Aussies won the Beach Pro Tour Volleyball Tournament in Latvia. So Aussies is hoping to have good results here in the Romanian orienteering as well. So David Stocks, it's on his way to the first control. As you can see, we have also athletes from Australia, from the United States, so not just Europe, we have even athletes from Japan. So Hong it's really Kong and like other countries. Yeah. 
and David Stokes uh, competed last year in Portugal and mispunched in a sprint event, so wish much better luck for David Australian here in Romania. Of course, uh, their neighbors uh, knew. But you can see that he's behind Yoshi Schmitz at control number 14. And uh, look at it. Yoshi Schmidt did exactly what you were imagining from 16 to 17. Yeah. So he came back. Exactly. That's, we saw exactly. that is the short. And I told you choice. that probably nobody will go back, no, but, but he did that. These these are experienced runners. They are still juniors, but these are the world's best juniors here competing in Romania in Bayamare for the Junior World Orienteering Championships 2023. Yeah, but and soon. now we, ha we can see our first runner. Yeah, so this is uh, Iris McMillan uh, from uh, Great Britain, now punching control number 15 and going into control 16. And just after her, Kaya Jorgensen is coming. So the best time here will be for Kaya Jorgensen. So running time for Kaya Jorgensen, 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes running time. You can see her on the back there. On she started the black two minutes on the all black. Yeah, she started two minutes uh, later than Iris McMillan, so for sure she has the best time right now, and probably she will catch her on the next control. Yeah, so the best time here uh, at this uh, TV control for Akaya uh, Jorgensen from New Zealand. And very soon we will see the athletes coming to the finish. So it's almost 20 minutes since the first starters open this junior championships in a sprint event. Remember tomorrow we will have a sprint relay, which was originally should be introduced this year in Romania, but the last year it took place in Portugal with two men and two ladies on the relay team. And then on Wednesday we'll switch to the forest disciplines. And now we could see Elia Ren from Switzerland also punching the control and behind him it was Iruki Maki, Iruki Maki from uh, Japan uh, behind him uh, punching the TV control. And now Anna Karlova, now Anna Karlova is coming uh, to punch uh, the TV control. Uh, she started four minutes after Kaya Jorgensen, so she's going to be the best at the TV control in the women's class. That is for sure. When we are having the first uh, guys here at the finish as well. Yoshi Schmidt from Switzerland are going into the finish. Uh, top 30 finish last year. And uh, you're mentioning uh, Kai Jorgensen from New Zealand. She was 67th last year in a sprint. And yeah. Mateusz Kula also finished from Poland. And uh, you saw Anna Karlova, so solid race by Anna Karlova so far. And uh, you saw the root choice from her. She, she was going really, really down there onto control uh, number 12, not going on the an S, and then uh, to, taking the root choice uh, on the right to control 15, and everything in control for her. So uh, Yoshi Schmidt, official time for him, 16 minutes and 51 seconds. So the current leader in the men's class, Yoshi Schmidt. So Yoshi could sit down at the stage right now because he's the current leader. Last year he had the best result in the middle distance when he was among top 20. Of course, uh, hoping to be uh, at least among top 10 this year. Now on the screen, 155 on the men's side, Alexander Ketsuk from Ukraine. Last year, he was 58 in a sprint event. So second time for him at the Junior World Orienting Championships. And the sprint distance for uh, Ukrainian Ketsuk was the only start last year. Remember, the middle distance and long distance was in November. That was a split World Championships. And now we can see from New Zealand, ah, Kaya, Kaya Jorgensen. She is coming right now to punch the finish. So we just have to wait uh, some uh, seconds to get uh, her official time. Uh, and she will be in the leader's chair, that's for sure. Just after her, Iris McMillan uh, coming into the run-in. Uh, 
British girl uh, finishing her course right now, right into position number two. Left a moment in the women's class. Yeah, for Jürgensen, as I said, that she was a 67 in a sprint, but best result came for the New Zealander on the long distance when she was 20th. Okay, so we have Kaya Jorgensen already at the finish. Let's see if she has all the controls and uh, let's see what's her time. And In the meantime, we have another athlete. Elia riding. Ren from Switzerland. And the British Macmillan who finished last year, he competed in Portugal, mispunched in a sprint event. So hopefully today will be a positive result for the Iris for Macmillan. How many, how time, what was the time of the girl? 65th result yeah, in a long distance too. was best for the British Macmillan in Portugal, 2022. Okay, and now we can see from the Czech Republic and the girls arriving to the finish, Anna Karlova. The current bronze medalist from 2022 in a sprint event. The only medalist 17, in this 30. year's competition. So uh, the time uh, for uh, Kaya Jorgensen, 17.39 for uh, Kaya Jorgensen, 19.56 for Iris McMillan, and we have to wait uh, for the download of Anna Karlova to check. Uh, but I think she's uh, currently the leader here at the finish. Yeah, last year she finished behind the finish, Matila and a Swiss grabber earning the bronze medal for the Czech Republic. And that was the only Czech medal from last year's Evo Junior Championships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we have to wait. Uh, so we, we already have some, uh, at least the split time from her at the TV control. She was 14 minutes at the TV control, but now we need to wait for the download uh, of Anna Karlova to check uh, the time when the Dinis Lopes, so Dinis Lopes, the Portuguese, is now finishing his course. Lopes uh, last year was uh, 110 in the middle distance, almost the same result, 111 in the long distance. Still another two years for Dinis Lopes in the junior category. We have uh, three junior men on, from Portugal, the same number also on the women's side. Okay, uh, Pedro so Lagarto, the oldest one. So official time for Anna Karlova, 16.09, 16.09, the new leader in the women's class, Anna Karlova from Czechia. Meanwhile, we... 16 minutes and 9 seconds, so she is 1 minute and 30 seconds faster than Kaya Jorgensen from New Zealand. So, quite so Bruno, I have with me Anna Karlova right now, so I will ask her a few questions. Anna, congratulations. How was your race? How do you feel now? Well, right now I'm totally tired. It was really fast and many, many route choices. I'm not sure if I have taken all the right ones, but yeah, it was just really fast and I was just totally exhausted in the end. Was it good that you started so early? Uh, no, it wasn't because there were some problems with bus, so I didn't have much time to prepare before the race. Okay, thank you very much. Please have a seat in the leader's seat at the stage. Meanwhile, we saw Estonian Emma Jonas finishing, the sister of uh, Jürgen Jonas, contrary to his brother who was 10th last year. For Emma, it's first appearance at the World Junior Championships. She was 66 and uh, two years ago in Lithuanian capital Vilnius at the European Youth Orienteering Championships. 66 in a sprint, 71st in the long distance. Terre Tulemast and Mayonas Hesti. Can I stay? Also from uh, Great Britain, we saw just uh, two minutes ago in the finish. Iar acum putem să vedem și pe Andrea Manu, care se apropie la postul de control. Primul post de control televizat. Și în curând o să avem alături de noi la finish 
Este o sportivă din Baia Mare. So we can see our athlete from Romania, Andrea Manu, approaching to the control and very, very soon she will be here at the finish line. For Andrea Manu, still two, another two years in the junior category. Last year she was outside top 120 and of course hoping for a much better result at home. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so uh, again, uh, right now, the current standings in the women's class in uh, gold medal position and on the podium, uh, we have Anna Karlova from uh, Czechia, 16 minutes and nine seconds and second position for uh, Kaya Jorgensen from New Zealand, uh, one minute and 30 seconds slower than uh, Anna Karlova and third position for Emma Jonas from Estonia. Three minutes and 28 seconds slower. When Fruzina Mag now coming here into silver medal position. So second place for Fruzina Mag. 16 minutes and 51 seconds. So she is 42 seconds slower than Anna Karlova. She's a sister of Victoria Mog. First scene was 26 last year, so quite a good result for her. Yeah, she came in Portugal. One of the favorites, but also one of the runners that we will be paying attention is for the Finnish girl, Yeni Oyala. She is running extremely well so far running extremely well pretty soon she will pass the tv control and uh, she is fighting for the top position i can tell you this but let's wait for her yeni oil is one of the oldest in the finnish team but for her it's only first time at the world junior championships yeah, the biggest favorite in the Finnish team should be Evelyn Oyanaho. She's still uh, really young, but she's one of the favorites for today. Now at the finish, Paula Pavlin from uh, Croatia finishing her race, going right now into position number seven. Meanwhile, a Danish fans uh, clapping uh, for the Danish athlete in the finish. It was uh, Niels Dalgord, one of the fastest men so far. He was uh, leading in front of Schmidt uh, on the previous uh, split yeah. time, but in the finish he's losing seven seconds to the Schmidt. Yes. So the Swiss holding the leading position so far. But I can tell you that uh, Yeni Oyala, she is running really well. We didn't see, but she's pretty soon coming to the TV control. Pretty soon she will be there. So we can say flying fin here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Will be really close between her and Anna Karlova, but she is fighting. Yeah, Nils Dalgord, the first time in the junior championships uh, last year in Hungary at the European Youth Championships. He was uh, tenth in a sprint to win the yeah, region. In the pictures, Antoine Dechlut from France, they're punching uh, on the pictures, and uh, I think this is the new third best time at, at control because. At the TV control, the best time is for Niels Dolgard from Denmark. So he has 13 minutes and 36 seconds is the first at the TV control. But at the finish, the current leaders in the women's class, Anna Karlova, and in the men's class. Joni Schmidt and Dolgard won the bronze medal with the teammates last year in the youth category in the relay. So two Swiss and one Danish among top three so far. Yeah, yeah. so now we got the punch from Yeni Yoyala at the TV control. And uh, she is late compared with Anna Karlova, but she is in the fight for silver medal position with Frozina Mag. Only nine seconds are separating these two runners. So now the fight in the women for the silver medal position is between Yeni Oyala and Fruzina Mag. Și între timp a sosit și Andrea Manu, sportiva din Baia Mare, pe locul 8 în acest moment, cu un timp de 21 de minute și 51 de secunde, deci 5 minute și 42 de secunde mai mult decât liderul Ana Karlova. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Hanna Karlova, as expected, she is the bronze medalist from last year. So, uh, she was one of the first to start, and she really set up a really good time, really good time. And uh, coming back to that uh, talk about the winning times, Zozo, 16.09.
I told you that maybe the courses will go a little bit over 15 minutes. But still, in the women's class, we should wa wait for the, now, yes indeed, now here, Yeni Oyala finishing her race, and she is coming into bronze medal position. We need to wait for the official time, but uh, yes indeed, now we got the punch, show 17.05. Third position so far for Yeni Oyala. 56 seconds slower than Anna Karlova. So Karlova's time is really impressive and she could hope for another medal also this year. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Oyala has not ever before competed in major competitions, so first appearance on the last year for her in the junior class. Yes, indeed. And uh, also for us, uh, Portuguese, Joana Canana. She passed the first uh, radio control uh, in the women's course. Only 52 seconds slower than Victoria Mag. That is the current leader. So good start for her. Good, good start. In my start, uh, Cameron Morrison from Republic of South Africa. Her second appearance in the junior championships last year, he was 137th in a sprint. And uh, out in the course, uh, one of the favorites also, Victoria Mog from Hungary. She has passed the first radio control in first position. She has passed the second radio control in first position, and now we wait for the third radio control. We didn't got a punch from Anna Karlova at those controls, so we cannot compare her time with Anna Karlova's time. But uh, yes, she's running really, really well. And in the men class, Antoine Derlot from France has arrived with the third best time right now. 17 minutes, 13 seconds, so 22 seconds slower than Yoshi Schmidt from Switzerland at the moment. For Antoine Delo is a debut in the junior category, so he was a 33rd in the youth, 34th a year before in a sprint event. So he was lying in the second position in the last split, but then lost it. Yes, to and uh, you see the comparison there on the GPS between Karlova and Oyala. But uh, we should uh, start, I uh, you see, oh, yo, yo, the mistake there from Oyala, so she missed uh, and she lost some time there, but still, Karlova was running faster. But the comparison now should be between uh, Anna Karlova and Victoria Mag, because Victoria Mag, she is running really, really well. We got a pre-warning, so pretty soon she will be at the TV control, and uh, probably we will see her. It's going to be so tight between uh, Karlova and uh, Mag. Victoria Marga, remember, was the seventh last year and the third best from those who competed this year as well. Only Karlova and Vik from Norway was better than her in a sprint event in Portugal. Yes, and uh, at the finish, Flora Eigmuller from Austria, now in position number 10. And now we got the punch. Now we got the punch at the third radio control in the women's course and this is a new best time for Victoria Mag 14 minutes flat seven seconds faster than Anna Karlova so junior category Victoria Mog has earned the medals that was uh, two years ago in Turkey so in a relay and bronze in a long distance and now maybe probably here will come her first uh, medal in a sprint event now Halma seven Svenrud from uh, Sweden, Sweden finishing her course. I think this is position number four right now for her. So Alma Svenrud won the gold medal in long distance in the ungdoms category. The Swede won the gold medal in the long distance in the youth category last year. So probably we will hope for a better result from her in the forest, probably. So uh, now we can now we can see also Schmidt's root choice in the men's class compared with the Norwegian Romoren. So Romoren is uh, behind, but uh, the focus for us now is on the time of uh, Victoria Mog. And now I can hear some voice, so Victoria Mog yeah, is approaching Now she the is coming, now she's coming into the running. 
And will she take the gold medal position? Hmm? That's the big question. Anna ah. Karlova or Victoria Mog? We have to wait a few seconds for the official time. For Karlova, it's a 16.09. And for Mog, here comes rumor from Norge. Ikke ski hopper Bjorn Einar Rømmeren som vant medaljene i ski hoppe og olympiske leker, men her er orientering utover Rømmeren, Filip Lehmann. Første gang i junior verdensmesterskap for ham. Han var på tredje plass, bronsmedaljvinneren i fjor i sprintøvelse, nummer sjette, han var i lang distans. Nå har vi den offisielle tiden, og det er den beste tiden for Victoria Mag. 15.53. 15.53 for Victoria Mag, the new leader in the women's class. So she's the first lady going faster than 16 minute mark. And remember, Victoria Mag from uh, Hungary. She won the bronze four years ago in Grodno, Belarus at the European Youth Orienting Championship. Uh, two years later in Lithuanian capital, uh, Vilnius, she earned the gold in a sprint event. Uh, so she could repeat this uh, from the youth category, also in the junior category here in Romania. Victoria Mag from Hungary. So, Bruno and Ivars, I have Victoria Mag right near me, and I will ask a few questions. Gratulálok! Welcome to Bayamare. How do you feel now? Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. Uh, I was, uh, I'm satisfied with my uh, course, but I did some little mistake because uh, I was just uh, running a bit too much, uh, too fast, and. Uh, um, in the end, I also tried to read out everything, so I just uh, uh, pulled myself back. But uh, I really enjoyed it. Where did you have that mistake that you are talking about? Uh, it was uh, at the middle of the course, but maybe a bit before the last uh, part. I did a, a mistake in these little passages uh, because uh, I miscounted it. Did you catch somebody from the race? Uh, yes, I, I saw some uh, women from my course, but uh, uh, it was um, some loop, so I uh, didn't really uh, uh, care about uh, who I met. You already had some medals at AOC and also JWOC, but now at the JWOC 2023 in sprint distance, you could have one. What, what do you think about this? Is this time enough for you to get a medal? Uh, well, um, in my opinion, as I uh, started uh, really early, it's, uh, it depends on the others and uh, the future will tell us uh, for uh, what it um, enough for. Was it good that you started earlier? Uh, yes, for me it was uh, good in the sprint, but uh, maybe it won't in the middle and the long courses. Ivars, you want to ask something? Okay, thank uh, you again, Mark Victoria from Hungary. Yeah, just and please just ask, uh, take your seat at so the so stage so. for the leaders. So please so, go uh, at the stage. You have right to stay now, there. Uh, Take some water right with now, you. Right now we have uh, Joshi Schmid as the leader in the men's class and uh, Victoria Mog as the leader in the women's class. But uh, pretty soon, I can tell you, we will have a new best time in the men's class because Martin Vehult Cherve from Norway he is running so, so well. He has passed the third radio control in the men's class. One minute faster, I think, uh, that uh, the time of Joshi Schmidt. So, so probably he will be the new best time here. So Martin Scherbe from Norge in fjor var på 19. plass i sprintøvelse, og så kommer uh, so you see, to no, it's, no. her. it's really, really tight. So it's going to be down to the second. You see the GPS live from uh, Martin Vehus, And uh, you see the GPS of uh, Schmidt. So you see. Martin is just a few seconds in front of uh, Yoshi Schmidt. We just noticed the leading change on the women's side, and uh, Schmidt is leading for the very long time on the men's side. But maybe Norwegian uh, uh, Scherves um, can uh, make a change here and move Swiss uh, Schmidt to the second position. I think it just matters how much energy still has the Norwegian runner because they are very, very close to each other in the 
time sheet right now, so I am really curious if he can manage till the end this kind of speed. Yeah, because this last part of the race is really, really easy. There's no root choice, no root choice at all. So it's just uh, running and executing it as best as possible. And the time is running. The time is running. 30 seconds for him to come and beat the time of Yoshi Schmidt. What an exciting moment will come as soon. Norway and Switzerland battling for the leading position. Meanwhile, they finish with 153. That's uh, Adam Trepet uh, from uh, Slovakia. And while we wait for Martin, uh, some more news because in the women's class at the first radio control, we have a new second bus time but ma by Matea Glowerson and a new third bus time by Esa Sonneson. And now Martin! Here comes the flop in Norsk to be Sherve and can try to take the lead here for the Sveitsiske Schmidt. Schmidt leads with 16. Yes, indeed. So, new best time for Martin Vehus Servier. 16 minutes and 47 seconds. Only four seconds faster than Yoshi Schmidt. Oi, oi, oi. Norge leader, Servier leader, Foram Schmidt from Schweiz. With four seconds, so gratulere Servier. So, we fjor Martin var på 19. plass. So, på long distance, uh, had the uh, best result, uh, yeah. the plus, uh, blunt top uh, tea, or one bronze yeah, medal now, in Stafet. Now you see the replay between Sherve and Schmidt, and you see that Sherve was really, really behind uh, Schmidt there. And then they made, oh, but maybe he's mispunched. Maybe he mispunch because I don't know if he went to 15. Oh, it's great. No. Something, uh, yeah, yeah. Something is wrong. I think. So Romanian Alexandra Roman, Romania in a finish. Was was okay? No. Yeah, so it's so one miss, so it's miss punch. So it's miss punch for Martin Vehu Sherve. Control so this number means, 19. So this means that Joshi Schmidt is still the leader in the men's class. Yeah, so first of all, Sverre, luckily Martin. So Yoshi, you, you could sit on the stage because you are still the leader please yeah, so we have the leaders chairs the there so uh, yoshi schmidt should go to the leader chair where we have uh, the beautiful uh, hungarian uh, victoria mog there as the leader in the women's class so right now the current uh, top three in uh, the women's course first position Victoria Mag, 15.53, second position, Anna Karlova, 16.09, and third position for Fruzina Mog, 16.51. So Hungary here, really good at the result list in the women's class. And still, we wait for Rita Maro Marosci. Very good, very good that you, you learned it. The name exactly as you have to spell it, Mara Maroshirita. It's the one of the favorites actually at the in the women's For class. For me, it's uh, it's going to be a total surprise if she doesn't win today. Okay, and let's wait. She's favorite end. number one for me. As you told me last year, exactly at the sprint, she had some problems. Yeah, last year, and we posted uh, a video from last year's sprint. She was doing a fantastic race up until the second last, con the third last control, when she was coming out from Carapito into the arena, and she made a huge mistake there, losing a medal, I think. So she's searching for revenge here. And a good result from her last week in the AOC in Bulgaria, where she won with 51 seconds advantage over Evalina Oyanaho. So, she, again, she's one of the favorites. And for she's sure. in a good shape for sure. Yeah, yeah. And as you said, she still has like two years more in Jaywalk. Mm -hmm. So, a long time in front of her to catch some medals at Jaywalk. We are still waiting for some athletes and let's see we can see now on the screen yeah it's virma pelika from finland but she is too late almost two minutes late compared with the leading time of victoria mag so victoria mag passed there with 14 minutes flat and uh, the running time for her is over i think uh, uh let's wait for the punch but i think it's like 
one minute over the leading time of Victoria Mount. She will go into position number eight, I think. Meanwhile, on the men's side, the Joni Schmidt still hold the leading time, and then a second, uh, seven seconds trailing back, uh, the Dane, uh, Niels Dalgor, and Norwegian, uh, Philip Lehmann, uh, Romor, and lying in the third place so far. And, uh, French, uh, Derlo Anton, into the fourth place, and second best Swiss, uh, Elia Ren, into the fifth, and British, Charlie Rennie, into the sixth place. For uh, this French uh, Derlo, it's the first appearance of the World Junior Championships. So quite a good start for him. Of course, uh, several strong athletes will come later, but now he's in the fourth yes, place. So uh, top 20 finisher who could be, maybe. But the news here in the men's class is that the athletes of last year's second part of Jaywalk, Noel Brown has passed the first radio control with the new best time, 12 minutes and uh, four seconds. This is exact the same time as Niels Dolgards. And now at the second radio control, only one second. But here, we don't have the times of Yoshi Schmidt, so we cannot compare his time with Yoshi Schmidt. So, hmm? It's so, a big question, but yeah. still, I, get, I think he has a good time. Yeah, he is running for the top three right now. That is for sure. That is for sure. Running time for Noel Brown, 14 minutes flat, so he has Two minutes and some seconds to come here and beat the time of Yoshi Schmidt. Noel Brown was 15th last year in the sprint event, but won the gold in the long distance. Yes, yes, Portugal. and in the middle distance, he was coming to get the gold, but he lost the SC card just three controls before uh, the finish. So it was a huge story to tell. He, he was the athlete, the man athlete of the second part of Jaywalk last year. So now in the women's class, Elsa Soneson punched the second radio control. 42 seconds behind the leading time of Victoria Mark. So she will not beat the time of Victoria Mark. Meanwhile, a good news for Estonian fans. Chris Ooh, Markus yeah. Kraft has opened uh, with the fastest time in the first split. 5 minutes 35, Estonian leading uh, in front of others at the first split. Yes, indeed. Really good song start. So this is good news for Estonia because I think Estonia is... Uh, Putting uh, Jürgen Jonas as a yeah, main yeah, yeah. And, uh, But uh, it's always good when you see that the country is doing okay. Then, uh, for sure, Jorgen will go in a good position. Yeah. So there are some uh, more uh, women uh, passing at the radio controls, but they are not threatening the lead of Victoria Mag. Lucy Dietrichkova from uh, Czechia, she passed the second radio control, 11.38, 36 seconds slower than Victoria Mog. So uh, no threats in the women's class. So uh, very soon will come Cameron Morrison. Mm -hmm. So now, so now we have synced uh, the GPS from Newell Brown and uh, Pascal Schmidt, uh, and pretty soon we will have Newell Brown here into the arena, and the time is running. Less than one minute now for him to come into the finish and beat the time of Yoshi Schmidt. The leading time right now, 16:51 for Yoshi Schmidt, and the time is running for Newell Brown. The time is running. He is punching the second last control right now and coming into the running. Punching the last control right now. Now in the running. Pushing all the way to the finish and pushing into gold medal position. So this is the new best time in the men's class for Newell Brown. 16 minutes and 42 seconds. Nine seconds faster than Yoshi Schmidt. Oi, oi, oi. Now we have a three men under 70 minute mark. Dalsgård from Denmark in a third. Schmidt from Switzerland okay, second. And new leader, as you said, Noel Brown from Sweden. Come, so come. he won the long distance last year and is going maybe to oi, take some medal super, or maybe gold in a sprint event this year. Super, super race from him. Super race. Let's hear some words from Noel. And we have our athlete from Sweden, the new leader in the men's class. Noel, how was this race for you? It was a very, very fast finish for you. And it seems that you are the new leader. That's nice to hear. It was a stable race and I uh, had to stop just a, a couple seconds once or twice to, to really check that my route choices worked all the way to the control. But uh, So it, it, was, yeah, it was stable. What about your speed? Uh, 
it's uh, so difficult to tell. I, I try to just uh, focus on not making any mistakes. So I don't know if I push hard enough, but uh, I hope so. Did you prepare especially for the sprint race, or uh, can we expect I something more in the days coming? I would say that the forest distances are for sure my like, no, no, no. the ones I prioritize the most. So uh, if uh, this is good enough for uh, like a top five position, then uh, I would be really happy in the sprint. But uh, I hope for probably even better positions in the forest races. Thank you, Gratis. And wait, 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 just one question for me. Now you know that Axel Helmblad is the current middle sprint world champion in the, sp in the sprint season. So yeah. some word in, f in Swedish for him that is watching at home. I was a little Max yesterday. He sent away three tips to be world champion in sprint. It was, trust on yourself, you are the best. Dump up as hard as you can. And fuck it up. Ja, very good, very good, Noel, and congratulations in the men's class. Uh, let's wait and see, because probably we will have a new leader from Estonia. From Estonia. Because he's uh, running really well. And it's uh, not Jürgen Jonas, it's uh, Markus Krav. So Noel Brown was hoping uh, to bring uh, Sweden to earn for Sweden another gold medal, but uh, now several athletes will threaten his time. Yeah, so in the women's class, uh, now uh, finishing uh, her race, Luci, Luci Dietrichkova going into third position in the women's class. So right now, top three, Victoria Mag, Anna Karlova, and Luci Dietrichkova. In the meantime, Elsa Soneson also finishes her course, going into position number four. But... Uh, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, uh, Cameron Morrison uh, finishing from a public of uh, South Africa. Last year he was 126. Yeah, he to be among top 100 this year. As for the women's class, we have a new best time at the first radio control from Switzerland. Enriqueta Radzikowski from Switzerland. Five minutes and 30 seconds. Two seconds faster. No, five seconds faster than Victoria Mag. So pretty good start from uh, Enriqueta. In the finish was a Czech, Yuri uh, Donda, into the sixth place so far. Yuri Donda was uh, 14th uh, last year in a sprint event and won the silver medal in the long distance and gold in the relay with a Czech team in the European Youth Orienting Championships. And for Donda, who will have another year in the junior category next uh, year, first appearance mm -hmm. in the Junior World Championships. Yes, and we were showing the picture from uh, Chris Marcus there. So he punched, I think, uh, 30 minutes and uh, 49 seconds we don't have the punch from uh, Yoshi Schmidt uh, at that control but he is running extremely well he's running well so right now he has two minutes and 42 seconds to come uh, he's approximately like a third and four so, yeah, Paul yeah. Kocht, uh, Marcus Krab. so it's only now we got the punch so he is only two seconds slower than Newell Braun two seconds slower and so Shabo mm -hmm. from Hungary in the finish Yeah, an athlete from Hungary, sub 11, uh, just finished the race. And we will see his final time. No, what we said, but this is just what we have to do with leader in 56 seconds. So while we wait for some more news in the women's class. Right now, uh, the women that we are looking for is Henri, Henriette Radzowski from, Radzowski from uh, Switzerland. Uh, she is the current leader at the first radio control. That's still some more minutes for her to pass uh, the other radio controls and come here into the finish. In the meantime, also a good time from Hannes Morgensen from Sweden. He has passed the first radio control. Only one second slower than uh, Chris Marcus and uh, 11, 10 seconds faster than uh, the leader, Noel Brown, at the finish. So, pretty good start for the young uh, Swedish runner.
Here while Lazara Stewart from New Zealand came in the finish last year. She was 58th best New Zealander and will try to be again the best New Zealander here in Romania in a sprint. Mm -hmm. Og her kommer en norsk jenta, Elisa Iversen. Så vi har Glørsen Iversen, vi husker det navnet fra Langgren, det er Anders Glørsen og Emil Iversen. Men her i orientering, jentene, ikke guttene med sånne navn. Så Henriette Radzkowski, kan du si det navnet bedre enn jeg gjør? Det er en veldig hard navn. Herriette Radzikowski. Radzikowski. Thank you. Zozo, the special it is. But it doesn't sound so Swiss, it sounds no, like no, Polish. No, 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 no. When I was preparing the names, this <laughs> name, I, was, uh, I had to look three times to see if it was in fact Switzerland or if it was some mistake. But uh, yes, yes. Uh, but she's running really well. She, uh, I think pretty soon she will be at the second radio control and let's see if she can keep up the pace. Meanwhile, Sigrid Höyer Stauger from Denmark in Mål. 43 in fjor, 40, 43rd she was in the last year. Yes, the Danish on the pictures, stalker. on the pictures there is Amalie Hartmann from uh, Denmark punching uh, the TV control uh, in position number 11 for her. One minute and 50 seconds slower than Victoria Mog. Amalie Hartmann was just yeah, in three places behind her teammate Stalgord, yeah, finishing no. 46. So the comparison on the big screen, and uh, you can see the comparison between uh, Mog and Enriette. And you can see that Mog is slightly ahead of Enriette, slightly ahead. I would say maybe 10 seconds ahead of Enriette. Meanwhile, Estonia and uh, Marcus Krav in the third place. Kolmas Kochte, Chris, is losing 14 seconds, and we have... Uh, Four men on the 17 minute mark. Leader Brown, second place Schmidt, the third Krav, and fourth Dalsgård. Dalsgård. So now we have the punch from Henriette. Now we have the punch, and she punched in second position in the women's class at the second radio control. 11 24. This means she is 22. 22 seconds slower than Victoria Mog. Here comes Zefa Fawe from New Zealand. Last year he was very high, 17th in a sprint. Four, uh, in a sprint he was 105th, the so 17th in the middle and 14th in the long distance. He yeah, prepared some for his discipline. No, yeah, last year it was really, really a good and positive surprise because he ran extremely well that long distance in Portugal. And it was really technical uh, and it was fantastic to see how good he ran last year. And I think that he's hoping and aiming for more this year. Here in Romania, in Bayamare, in the Maraburish County. Yeah, he is the seventh. As you said. Yeah, seventh is Zefa, losing 34 seconds to the leader, Noel Brown. And we are still waiting for Hannes Morgensen in the men's class. If I'm not wrong, he has the third best time right now. So another athlete from Sweden. So now you have there on the screen the comparison between Noel Brown and Hannes Morgenson. And uh, it's almost the same time between the two of them. Look at that. Oi, oi, oi. It's going to be down to the second. Down to the second. Yeah, last year, Morgenson missed punch in a sprint event in the European Youth Championships, but they won the bronze medal in the long distance. Yeah, but now you can see him in the pictures. He is so young and he is so talented. I know he's one of the big hopes in Sweden. One of the big hopes in Sweden for the future. Actually, Swedish team brought us some newcomers who mm -hmm. has the first time in the World Junior Championships. Yes, indeed. So he punches right there. And 13.41, uh, this means he is... Uh, Four seconds, four seconds slower than Newell Brown. So he is still in contention for gold medal position. That is for sure. So it, uh, Sweden will lead anyway when yeah, Morgensen yeah. will finish. <laughs> will it be Newell Brown or Annej Morgensen? But it will still be Sweden. And uh, let us remind you that the sprint gold medalist from last year, Axel Helmblad. So the gold medal is in Sweden, and will it stay in Sweden, or will it be 
some uh, other country. We will see. Less than a minute till we will see Hannes Morgensen, and then we will know if he is the new leader or can he make it maybe to the top three. As the split times says, he might be in the top three position. Yes, and also we are waiting for Enriette, the Swede, the Swiss girl. She can come into the podium position. There she comes. There she comes. No, not yet. This, this is, is Danish. Denmark, Danish. Amelie Ertman. Yeah, Amelie Ertman is coming, but uh, we are waiting for Enriette. We are waiting for Enriette. 30 seconds for her to come and beat the time of Victoria Mog. 30 seconds. She has three controls left. The so Danish. three controls left for the Swiss girl, and then she will arrive to the finish. She is right going to the control number 22, and then we have 23, 24, and the finish. So very soon we will see her approaching the finish line. It's a matter of seconds already. Yeah, she will not beat the time of Victoria Mog, that's for sure. The time has run out, so sh now she is fighting for a place in the podium. There she comes in the running. Uh, Enriette sprinting all the way. Maybe this will be a new second best time. Oh, yo, yo, it's so tight. It is so tight between uh, Enriette and Anna Karlova. We need to get the official punch. It's so tight, I will not say. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. So new second best time uh, for uh, Enriette Radzikowski from Switzerland. 16 minutes and 8 seconds. 15 seconds slower than Victoria Mark, but only one second faster than Anna Karlova. So the new top three in the winner's class. First place, Victoria Mark, 15.53. Second place, Enriette Radzikowski. 16.08 and third place for Anna Karlova, 16.09. Yeah, for Radzinowski, she is the first appearance in the junior category, but now we have first the places for two Swedish guys. Oh, With the oh. same time, Brown and Morgensen split the first place. Ooh, Remember from yeah, yeah, last yeah. year, three bronze medalists. Maybe yeah, we'll have yeah. two gold medalists today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic news for uh, Sweden, Anes Morgensen. Exactly the same time as Newell Brown. So right now we need to get an extra share at the podium because Newell Brown and Anems Morgensen, both of them, 1642. So they are the leaders. They are sharing the gold medal position. Yes, Swiss Smith uh, lying in the third, losing nine seconds, and Estonian Krav in the fourth. Now Dalsgård, Denmark in the fifth. So, so Swedish fans uh, maybe can start to sing Dugamla du Fria. Yeah, but look at this on the last, really on the last part of the course. He got nine seconds over Newell Brown. So the last controls, the last controls from Anders Morgensen were truly amazing. He got nine seconds on this last part where is no orienteering at all. You just need to execute the rule choice that exists. Now uh, Zoltan will interview Hannes Morgensen, uh, the current uh, split leader with uh, Noel Brown. We will hear very soon. Mm. Uh, Matt, uh, before that, probably bef within uh, one minute, we will have the start of the biggest favorites. We will have the start of the biggest favorite, Rita Maromaroshi. She is on the start line. You can see her on the picture there. How many Hungarians are here? Let's clap. Where Hungary? Let's clap for Rita. She is on the start line. The biggest favorite for today's race in the women's class. She is in an incredible shape, incredible shape. She has won the last three years in the youth category sprint mm -hmm. event. And again, I can tell you, last year, if it wasn't for that mistake, she would have got a medal. Uh, that is for sure. So she is searching for revenge. And here she goes. Here she goes. She's uh, going here together with a New Zealander, Helix Hunt. Born in 2005, first, second time in the junior championship last year, he was 68 in a sprint. And meanwhile, uh, Mara Maroshi finished 17th after mistake, Bruno told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
And uh, pretty soon we will see the GPS. Uh, this time uh, for uh, Denmark, Oscar David Vroom Jensen, uh, because he has the new best time at the first uh, radio control in the men's class. Five minutes and 31 seconds is the fastest right now there. And you can see he is in the lead going into control number 14. But uh, just now we have a new best time at the first radio control in the men's class. So that will be a surprise. So Bruno and Ivars, I have Hannes yeah, yeah, now go with Hannes. right near me. So Hannes, you were very, very angry when you arrived. What happened? Yeah, because I think it was at the 16th control I got chased by a dog. So then I totally lost concentration and uh, did a small mistake. So yeah, then. Therefore, I'm quite angry, but, but I'm still yeah. happy with my performance to match Noel, who's in uh, Incredible, so yeah. yeah. You have the same time, so you have to sit there, right near him. We have a special case, two leaders in the same time. How does that feel? And it's your teammate. Yeah, it's, it's uh, very fun. And uh, yeah, now I see we have a great chance tomorrow too, so yeah. Was it too hot for you? Uh, yeah, sometimes. But uh, I was prepared for it, so it was okay. What about the forest races? What do you expect? Uh, I think uh, the middle race will be very fun. Uh, I think that's my best uh, distance. So yeah, I'm very looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, tack and gratis. We could hear the gratis. Swedish runner Hannes Morgensen. Yes, and uh, now some news in the women's class because we have a new leader at the first radio control. So let's hear how many Swiss are here at the arena. No Swiss at the arena. Then we switch to the, 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 then we switch to the men. <laughs> then we switch to the men. No, the new best time for Ines Berger, the daughter of Alan Berger. 5.21, she is 14 seconds faster than Victoria Mag at the first radio control in the women's class. But if we switch to the men's class, we again face Switzerland because at the first split it's Dominic Müller from Switzerland with the fastest time. He improves previously the Jensen Danish time by five seconds, but the Danish Jensen is a new leader. Oi, oi, oi. And uh, he's, uh, because Oscar David Brom Jensen, what a fantastic race for him. He has passed the second radio control, 10 minutes and one second. Could it be the real time? Ooh. No, 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 11 minutes and 40 seconds. So this, this is uh, wrong for sure for the Italian guy. That's wrong for sure. But 11 minutes and 40 seconds, this means he is 25 seconds faster than Hannes Morgensen and Noel Brown. So really, really good race for Oscar David Brom Jansson. I think this is really a terrain that suits the Danish guys. This yeah. is really similar to what uh, are the cities in uh, Denmark. That could be really surprised last year. He was outside top 70 in yeah, a sprint yeah. event and now battling for the leading position. But this is good improvement for him and he's here fighting for the gold medal position today. Italy, it was a wrong time, but Italy has mm -hmm. a Indeed. bronze medal from last year. It was Ilian Angeli. Yeah, yeah, Ilian Angeli. Now really he's too old for juniors. He's uh, already moving into the senior class and he will be at walk this year. So it's really good news hearing that he's being uh, at walk. And uh, if he's hearing at home, uh, a big shout out from me because uh, he was training a lot in Portugal. I was talking a lot with him and he's a guy that really works hard and deserves what he gets. We've been talking together today about this transition between the J-Walk and Walk. What do you think about today's winner, maybe? Can they make this transition faster? Yeah, it's really difficult when you are moving from the junior class to the senior class. Because uh, the junior class is two years, the senior class is 20 years age class, and you have there the world's best athletes. They are professional. so. You really need to keep focused for some years, train hard, put the hours of training, get the experience, and then in the future you'll get only those that are a human, like uh, Hanna Lundberg, they can make Helen. the transition Helen. really easy into the senior class. But actually, you told earlier that uh, with Hanna Lundberg, she was lucky that uh, in Portugal it was not everything in July, but the yeah, yeah, she was to... she was injured in July. 
So she, wouldn't, she didn't run the sprints, that's why she, she was not uh, the junior world champion in the sprint. So she was lucky that uh, the races were moved to November and she could show how good she is in the orienteering sports. And now we can see another two athletes starting the race. With 104, we have the Bulgarian Stefan Dimitrov. And then we have another girl. Meanwhile, very soon will appear Jensen from Denmark. Yes, He's indeed. battling with the both Swedish Brown and Morgensen for the leading position. Jensen Oscar with bib number 119. So from the United States, Paige Schuhotsky started in today's sprint race in the women class. So from last year, Thijs Mundkved was best Danish only in 48th place, but now Jensen can really improve Denmark's hope for medal. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, first, we'll have Eduardo Pellegrino take off from Italy is getting all the good results there, but we didn't have the punch from him at the first radio control, because if this is uh, correct, then this is like a fantastic new best time for him. From cross-country skiing, we know Pellegrino, he's an uh, Olympic medalist in the sprint event, one of the mm -hmm. fastest sprinters in the world, but uh, I'm not yes, sure Pellegrino indeed, could because, uh, so fast. Yeah, it's, uh, we are waiting for him, but it's crazy, crazy good time, but here, Oscar David Bromiansson in the running into the gold medal position from Denmark. What a fantastic race for Oscar David Bromiansson. It looks like he's smashing the ball oh, sweet yo, yo. time. Super, super time. 16 minutes and 19 seconds, 23 seconds faster than Newell Brown and Agnes Mogensson. Fantastic race by the young Danish runner. Yeah, it was Odum who won the seventh place two years ago in Turkey. Remember Christiansson from Denmark won the women's side two years ago, but the now could be medal for the Danish men junior category mm. here. Fantastic, fantastic race for uh, Oscar David Brom Jensen. So we have a six men, top six men, faster than 17 minutes. Mm, indeed, indeed. Jensen leading 16-19, then Brown and Morgensen split the second place, 16-42, then Schmidt, Switzerland, 16-51, Krav, Estonia, 16-56 in the fifths. And, then, and then Danish... So Danish we have the official time of Oscar, he is the new leader from Denmark with 23 seconds better than Hannes Morgensen and Noel from Sweden. And in a few seconds, I will ask him about his race. So, a fantastic time from you, Oscar. How was the whole race for you? Oh, it was a fantastic race. I uh, have prepared a while for this competition, and yeah, I just focusing on uh, executing the legs very good, and uh, I did it all the way. No mistakes. When I was a bit secure, some of, some of the legs, but you know, I just took my stops, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Found the right way, or what would you say? <laughs> Yesterday night I saw that uh, your team made the homework for the sprint. So how much similarities did you find in today's race, in the course planning? Well, like the course planning was a bit tricky. We had the starting point uh, a bunch of different places, but when the uh, quarantine came out, we knew exactly where the start will be. And uh, after that, we just keep making courses and legs and yeah, found out what was the best. Okay, congratulations once again, and Ivars has also a question to you. So last year you was around the 70 something place, now you are the leader. How could you explain this uh, big progress? Yeah, well, some seconds in the women's class, because uh, Ines Berger from uh, Switzerland, she was leading, and it seems like she was coming uh, to the victory, but she made one mistake. She made one mistake here coming uh, to the finish and uh, she will not beat the time of uh, Victoria Mark. Now you see on the big screen, Ine Berzier was leading, but she made that mistake to control number 18 and now she is behind. 
Now she is behind, but still, she, I think she will come into silver medal position. The time has run to beat the time of Victoria Mag, but now we wait for Ines. Now we wait for Ines Berger from Switzerland. When you see on the pictures Rita Maramorossi, but uh, still we are waiting for Ines. It looks we, like she will lose to Swiss and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. So the time has passed for Ines Berger. She is sprinting right now, but she will not get the top three, that's for sure. She goes, I think, into a new fifth best time. New fifth best time in the women's class. When and, you now, have. and now we can see Rita Maramaroshi from Hungary punching at the TV control. Mm -hmm. It's so running time for her, 12.41, but we didn't got the punch. But she was among the top three in the first split. Yes, yeah, so in the, the, there was uh, some, some mistakes from her, uh, or uh, she took it a little bit easier on the beginning of the course. Mm -hmm. So now from the GPS we can understand that, yes, indeed, Rita is leading. So now let's see, will she make a mistake like Ines Berger? No. Everything in control for Rita Maramarossi. Maramarossi. Maramarossi, it's good. International English, not Hungarian language. And imagine she's born 2005, but she still has two years yeah, left in the, junior category. And uh, the story behind Rita is that originally the family is from uh, this region. We from are Romania. in the county of uh, Marumaris. Yeah, but her father was born in Oradea, mm -hmm. so that's the story that he, her father left Romania during the communism and then started a new life in Hungary and changed his name from Kifuriuk to Maramoroshi. And now his Rita. daughter is here at Jaywalk in Bayamare and she could get a medal here. Even in the results from last year's sprint event, she has a Romanian flag. Why? Mark, Mog and Shako has a Hungarian flag, but the Maramaroshi has a here a Romanian flag. <laughs> yeah, but guys, I think that there's a new leader in the men's class that is not appearing on the results. In the, I think it's a new leader there. But it's not on the results. But still, first we now we focus and we wait for Rita Maromaroshi. We are waiting for her. The time is running. She has uh, one minute and ten seconds to come into the finish and into gold medal position in the women's class. She had the, a half minute lead. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. The lead. winner of the AYOC in the women 18 last week in Bulgaria seems to be running extremely well again. This week in Bayamane, in Romania, for the Junior World Orienteering Championships 2023. And now she's here, punching the last control, sprinting all the way to the finish, into gold medal position. And what a fantastic race for her! What a fantastic race! 15 minutes and I think 11 seconds, so she, she has a gap of more than 40 seconds over Victoria Mag. Oi, oi, oi. So you were right. I was right. 15, <laughs> 13. 15, 13. That's 40 what you told seconds me yesterday. Up. 40 seconds. You have the beer. Yeah, I have <laughs> the beer because I bet that the winning time in the, it would be 15, 13. But still, she could not be the winner. Yeah, your because, extra table is good. Yeah, because there are some other women out there that can beat her time. Evelina Yoyanaho, Pia Youngvik, still some runners that are really fighting for the medals in the women's class. But I mean the time is yes, good. Yes, yes. So 15, 13 again, the time for Marmaro Shirita from Hungary, the new leader in the women's class. And uh, Rita Maramoroshi, two years ago, she won in the Lithuanian capital, Vilnius, the, on the 16th sprint event. Then, a year later, in Hungary, she won the gold again in a sprint, woman 18. And this year in Bulgaria, Maramoroshi was again the third year in, in a row winning, winning the gold medal in a sprint event for the youth. And now, finally, the first individual medal could come for Maram Rita. She has two medals in the relay, sprint relay and uh, women's relay in junior category, but no individual medals so far for Rita in a junior class. 
is, it is not over. It is not over in the women's class. Right now, at the first radio control, we get a punch from Evalina Oyanaho. 5.24. This is a new second best time for her. Three seconds. Three seconds slower than Ines Berger, but... She but is than she Maroshi. is faster than Rita Maro Maroshi. So it is on. She's seven seconds faster than Rita Maro Maroshi. Exciting mm. race is on. Oh, yo, yo. And uh, don't forget that still we have the fourth from last year, Pia Jongvik. She will start later on on the start list. So we wanted a show in the women's class, and we have it. We have a very, very tight race between. Mara Maroshi Rito and the Finnish girl and let's see who will win in the end, who will be the happiest at the end of this day. In the men's class, still in the lead, Oscar David Brom Jensen from Denmark. And uh, followed by Filip Jancic, Slovakian, Nata Trojsa Bliski, Hromi Divu Biu. Ahoy! Jancic going into the second place, seven seconds behind Jensen. What a nice news for Slovakian fans. But also good news for Czech Republic, uh, because Jakub Czelowski was third in the first split. Jakub Czelowski missed punch last year in the junior world championship in a sprint event, uh, finishing in top six in another event, uh, fifth in the middle, fourth in the long distance, but missed punch Czelowski in a sprint event. He's a silver medalist in the US category in a long distance and gold medalist in the relay. Okay, so uh, right now, uh Officially, officially, on the men's class, the top three is first place for Oscar David Brom Jensen, then second place for Filip Jancic. Oh, what a good race for Filip. Yeah, Fantastic yeah. race for Filip Jancic. And third position, shared bronze position for Noel Brown and Ones Borgensen. But, but, we have to wait because uh, we have uh, the time of uh, Dominique Muller, uh, we didn't got the punch from him and uh, he's maybe, maybe the new leader. We have to wait for the backup system to get to the finish time. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have the new leader in the women's class right near me, Mara Maroshirita from Hungary. Well done for today. How do you feel now? Hey, uh, I think it was my day. So uh, I'm really satisfied with my result and my performance. And uh, I think I can get a really nice uh, medal maybe for this run. And uh, it's a big surprise for me uh, because I'm so young. And uh, it's like a magic and a dream. So thank you for everyone who helped me. Uh, it's an amazing feeling. Is it a revenge for last year's sprint race? Uh, it was uh, my fault, and I could learn a lot from that mistake, and I needed that uh, fault, and now I'm stronger mentally, so uh, that's why I'm here, and I could run this well. <laughs> what about your family? Could you hear them? Are they here? Yeah, they are here. As it's uh, Maramuras region, and it was compulsory to visit uh, this place. And we really enjoyed this time, as we enjoyed it uh, six years ago, maybe. Uh, Teo in Cluj. No, uh, it was in Bayamara, uh, Romanian champs, and <laughs> we went here. So you are coming often to this place? Yeah, as my family belongs, uh, uh, how to say, Orada. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I visit Romania many times, and I love these guys. <laughs> And what about your teammates? Because uh, between uh, you and uh, Mog Victoria, it's only 40 seconds. So what do you think about this, that two Hungarians are right now in the first three? I know my uh, strengths, and I know her, and I taught her he, she can do it. So I'm so proud of her. And uh, it's a promising result for tomorrow. So prepare, uh, everyone. The Hungarians are strong. <laughs> what a message from Rita. Ladies and gentlemen, the current leader in the women's class, Mara Maroshi Rita, gratulálok, köszönöm szépen. Köszönöm.
Yeah, meanwhile, so, well, uh, now let's go back to the race because we have more exciting news in the women's class. We have a new best time at the first radio control for Finland. Silva Kempi, 5.21. 10 seconds. 10 seconds faster than Rita Moromorossi. I can imagine Silva Kempi has won several medals on the youth category, but uh, last year in the junior class, Silva Kempi was only 48 in a sprint. Yeah, but she's, she's a talent also, Silva Kempi. She's a really, really big talent. Also, Nea Schingler from Australia with a really strong start. 5.27 at the first regular control. She is only six seconds slower than Silva Kempi, and she is, in fact, faster than Rita Maro Marossi. So Australia won the gold on the men's side by Aston K in 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, Nia, she's running really well here. Now the comparison between uh, Evalina Oyanaho and Rita Maromorossi on the GPS. But very soon we should wait for Jakub Czalowski from Czech Republic. He has the fastest time before he had the finish on the last split. He's leading by some 14 seconds. Mm -hmm. yeah, Czech yeah. could take the lead. So Jakub Halupski, strong Czechia runner, in contention for the top position in the men's class. Right now, officially, the best time for Oskar David Rom Jensen from Denmark. For Czalopski's uh, only medal in the silver behind his teammate Simše in a youth class in Belarus Grodnet four years ago. But last year in Portugal he mispunched in a sprint to end, but was among top six in the middle and a long distance. He's a very strong Czech athlete. Going for the medal here in Romania by Amare. Mm -hmm. So uh, now Evelina Oyanaho, pretty soon she will be in the TV, but I don't think she will be the time of uh, Evelina Oyanaho. So now Halupski. Now Jakob Halupski, pretty soon, here, into the arena, into the Bayamare Arena of j 2023. And there you have Halupski, punching the last control, all the way into gold medal position, that is for sure. The new leader in the men's class from Czechia, Jakob Halupski. I think the official time will be 16 minutes and 3 seconds. Well, let's wait, but for sure, the new leader in the men's class. So 16 minutes and yeah. 7 seconds for Jakub Halupski, the new leader in the men's class from Czech Republic. Second place for Oskar David Brom Jensen from Denmark and third position for Filip Janczyk from Slovakia. This is the top three at the moment in the men's class. We were speaking about Anna Karlova, the only Czech medal winner from last year, but now Jakub Halowski could take the medal for Czech Republic this season. Yes, well. Can you imagine, last year, best Czech in a sprint event was Daniel Belachowski, only in 36th position. Yeah, but the sprint is totally different from last year to this year. Last year it was much more technical. This is so similar to many of the cities in uh, Czechia, so this is almost like uh, running at home. We are in Central Europe, so this is really familiar type of terrain for many, many countries. So now we got the punch from Evelina Oyanaho, and she is coming. Pretty soon she was coming. She will not beat the time of Rita Mauro Marossi, that's for sure. But I think she will come into silver medal position. From last year, Oyanaho and the Swedish Lunder both won two medals. Oyanaho, bronze and silver. Yeah, Bronze I think uh, she, if she gets a medal in the sprint, she will be really happy because her strong is the forest. She is so strong in the forest. She is maybe the favorite for the forest disciplines. This, uh, she's uh, like her older brother, Holly. She, they are really, really good running in the forest. So probably for Yanaku will be first to sprint medal. She has mm -hmm. medals in the longer middle distances in the youth and the junior categories, but no medal in a sprint in any category so far for yeah. Oyanako Finland. She won the silver medal last week in Bulgaria in the women 18. And now Evalina Oyanaho, pretty, pretty soon she will come here into the arena. Right now, 30 seconds for her to beat the time of Victoria Mog. So the fight now between Evalina Oyanaho and Victoria Mog for the silver medal position in the women's class. The time is running. 
So Time is running, and here she, here she comes. Here she comes, punching the last control all the way to the finish. It's going to be so tight between Evelina Oyanaho and Victoria Mag down to the second. And yes, indeed, new second best time for Finland for Evelina Oyanaho. Still waiting for the official time, but uh, yes, uh, 15 minutes. In 50 seconds, she is three seconds faster than Victoria Mag, but 37 seconds slower than Rita Maro Marossi. If we look to the first two places, we remember, as you said, that this season's Bulgaria, the huge championships. They're also Maro Marossi was first and Ayanako second, and the same both. Uh, Finland and Hungarian lying in the first two positions also here in the junior car class. So a new top three in the, the women's class. First position and gold medal position so far for Rita Moro Morosi. 15 minutes and 30 seconds. Second position for Evalina Oyanajo. 15 minutes and 50 seconds. And third position for Victoria Mog. 15 minutes and 53 seconds. As for the boys, first position right now, Jakub Halupski, 1607. Second position, Oskar David Rom Jensen, 1619. And third position for Filip Jancic, 1626. So good news for Norwegians and uh, Scandinavians. Uh, Norwegian Ingird has opened with the fourth uh, fastest time on a uh, ladies' side. Meanwhile, Norwegian Jakobsen is her fifth, and the Swedish Clara Borg into the third place after the first intermediate. So the next to come into the finish in the women's class should be Silva Kempi from Finland. So the time is running. I don't think she, that she will be on the, the podium. At least the top three. She's still fighting right now for a position in the top six. Yeah, for a longer time, we had Morgensen and Brown uh, split the third place. Uh, we were thinking we wanted another one to join and then repeat three bronze medals, but now they have moved it to the fifth uh, place. So, yeah, yeah, indeed. So now we have the time for Dominic Muller. Now we have the time for Dominic Muller. So now the top three in the men's class. First position and in gold medal position so far, Jakub Halupski from Czechia, 1607. Second position, Dominic Muller from Switzerland, 1613. And a third position so far for David, Oscar David Brom Jansen with 16 minutes and 19 seconds. So only 12 seconds separating the top three. And Muller was a outside top 30 last year in Turkey 2021. He was 26, but now what improvement for the Swiss. But uh, we are moving closer to the 16 minute mark. Maybe the winner at the end will be faster than 16 minutes. For yes, the lady, we uh, have 15-13. Yeah, I, it's going really, really tough for them to go much more below that. They will not go below 15 minutes, I can tell you. That's almost for sure. Uh, and now, uh, we, in the meantime, while uh, Ivars was talking, we got the finish from Silva Kempi. And Silva Kempi came into an equal sixth position. 16 minutes and 20 seconds, one minute and seven seconds slower than Rita Maro Marossi. Last year, another Finn, Hanna Hilo, was in a split fourth place with the Norwegian Vik. Now, can be in a split sixth place. And also one uh, good runner from uh, overseas, Penelope Salmon from New Zealand. She's also one runner that were, we were expecting to run uh, pretty well. Decent start of the race from her. Maybe some small mistakes because she passed the first radio control in 12th position. Now at the second radio control, she's already in 8th position, only 39 seconds uh, behind the, the leading time at that radio control that is for Victoria Marx. So she is still in contention for the place among the top six in the women's class. Now on the, now on the start, we have uh, some... Uh... 70 and something left, but it doesn't mean that the strongest one is at the end. Quite a lot of uh, favorites already yeah, started and, uh, and finished. And on the images, you saw Penelope Salmon going into the that uh, TV control. 
some uh, Romanian surprise going out of the shop <laughs> with some mm -hmm. food or something and somebody running past them so fast. Yeah, we are here in a really residential area, but fantastic area for orienteering. Uh, where uh, the expected Hungarian girl, Rita Maro Maroshi, is the leader in the women's class. What Mile. a fantastic race. French Romain Picard in the finish, first time in a junior category. In the youth, two years ago in Lithuania, he was disqualified in the sprint, but earning a 23rd place in the long distance. Still Jonas and the Ingir there from Norway, the fastest uh, from the latest starting in numbers. Very soon he will approach the TV point. Norske gut la på fjerde plass, etapte 9 sekund til leder etter første mellom tid. And uh, also in the women's class, a new runner passing at the first radio control. We have two runners passing at the first radio control with really good times. First to pass there was Clara Borg from Sweden. She passed there 5.23. This is a new third best time, only two seconds slower than the leader, Ines Berger, at that point. And also Christine Melby Jakobson. The Norwegian girl also starting really good, 5.25, only four seconds slower. So really, really good race. And right in, indeed, right now we got the punch at the second radio control for Christine Melby Jakobson. 12.54, 12.54, so she is only 21 seconds slower than Rita Maro Marossi and maybe going and coming into silver medal position in the women's class. In the men's class, we are waiting for Dominic Müller from Switzerland. He is right now on second position, finished. Yeah, yeah, he's already finished. Now he's finished. So this is final time for Dominic Müller. Okay, so the top three in the men's class, Jakub Halupski in gold medal position, Dominic Müller in silver medal position, and David, Oscar David Bromjansson in the bronze medal position. As for the women, the top three right now, Rita Maro Marossi, Evalina Oyanoho, and Victoria Mog. This is the top three, but maybe Christine Melby Jakobson, she could come into a good place. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Yeah, also, Ozzy Schingler finished. She was uh, seventh in the European uh, Orienting Championships, also Australia, New Zealand, some countries also competing in the European Youth Championships. Also to earn some experience inter at the international level. So now we focus here in the finish because we are waiting for uh, Clara Borg from Sweden. Now we wait for Clara Borg from Sweden to come into the running and a few seconds after her will come Christine Melby Jakobson. So Clara Borg trying to run, now punching the last control in the running and fighting for a place among the top six, but she will be just outside, just outside. So position number seven for Clara Borg from Sweden right now. So this is position number seven, and now we wait for Christine Melby Jakobson. This could be the new silver, the new runner in the silver medal position. So Borg is a very famous name in Sweden. Mm -hmm. Remember from 70s and 80s, it was Bjorn Borg, yeah, the best tennis see, player in the world. Now you see in the picture, Christine Melby Jakobson sprinting all the way to the finish. And it is so close between her and Evelina Oyanaho. Oy, 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 oy. I think it's equal time, but it's down to the second. So maybe silver medal position or bronze medal position for Christine Melby Jakobson. Let's wait for the official time. It is really close between her and Evelina Oyanaho. Hmm. Meanwhile, for Salmon New Zealand, the fourth time, 50 seconds behind the leader. For Salmon, the first time. 
You know, Clara Borg in the seventh place, minute and four seconds behind. Karlova completing top yes, six. So now official time for Christine Melby, Melby Jakobsen, 15.52. This means that she is in bronze medal position, only two seconds slower than Eva Lina Oyanaho. So good race for Christine Melby Jakobsen. And let's see what Pia Youngvik can do. And now we have the official time for Christine Melby Jakobsen. It's 15.52 exactly. I already told it. And uh, the Betire Norski and the Christine uh, some Warpa, uh, 30, she and the plus uh, if you would sprint over the bar, Blunt top 40. Uh, uh, won the silver medal in Latvia, Madonna, in she orientering uh, in war, and also going go for medal here in Romania. Yeah, and here, here, into the finish, Jonas Fene Inger from uh, Norway. And I think that this is a new third best time for him in the men's class. He could try Ooh, to beat yeah. the Swiss way. They will yeah, be very quite it's equal. It's really, really tight. But I think it's his bronze medal position for Jonas from uh, Norway. He was not running Jaywalk last year. I can tell you that. But he's running really, really good. Yeah, really for Jonas, good. it's the first international appearance so far. No youth competitions, no junior so far. But uh, I think it's maybe it's going to be bronze medal position. So this means that Norway will be in bronze medal position, both in the men and the women's class. But we still wait for the official time of Jonas. First the Gangi Junior class for Jonas Ingerd. Han har fremdeles andre tre år i juniorklasse, er fatt i 2006. Så Norge kan uh, ligge på bronsmedalposisjon for begge jentene og gutter og... And also a new time at the women's class at the first radio control, the Polish runner Anna Sudol. Really happy runner here. I'm always, it's always a pleasure to talk with her because she's always so happy to do, be doing orienteering. So I'm really happy with her time so far. She passed the first radio control, five minutes and 30 seconds. So she's running exactly the same speed as Rita Maru Marossi at the first radio control. So really good start, really good start. I'm still waiting for Ingrid, the uh, approval of his time. Husker at Mikkel Holt uh, vann bronsmedalje i fjor, Alstad til sølvmedalje. And we still have some runners who didn't start yet, so the competition is long even today, even at the sprint race. Așadar, doamnelor și domnilor, mai avem Încă mulți concurenți pe traseu și mulți încă nici n-au luat startul, printre care și Vădean Cătălin, care este din Baia Mare. El va lua startul la 18.30, deci peste un sfert de oră. Ok, so a lot has happening in the men's class uh, so far, because this is like totally new top six, I can tell you. So uh, right now the top six in the men's class still in gold medal position. Jakub Halupski, 1607. Second position, Dominic Muller from Switzerland, 1614. Third position, Benjamin Way from Swede Switzerland, 1618. Then fourth position for uh, Oscar Devi Brom Janssen, 1619. Fifth position for Jonas Fenner Inger, 1621, and sixth position for Filip Jancic from uh, Slovakia. So, bare femte plass for Jonas Inger. Taper 14 seconds to leader Halupski from Czechia. But we will hear interview with uh, Halupski from our colleague uh, Zoltan. Okay, Bruno and Ivars, I have with me the new leader in the men's class, Jakub Halupski. How was the race for you? You disappeared after you finished, so I, get, I guess you did your recovery. Yeah, exactly. I needed to cool down a bit. Uh, my race uh, went very well. I think uh, I uh, made a few hesitations, but overall I think uh, it was a fluent performance and uh, I'm really satisfied. 
How much did you prepare for this sprint race? Oh, actually, I prepared more for the disciplines, uh, but uh, for sure I prepared for sprints as well. For example, uh, uh, in the spring here in Bayamare, I think it was a good preparation for uh, this sprint. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, it was a good preparation. So it was good that you came in the, during the spring here and made a training camp? Yeah, exactly, at the Electro System Cup. What about the forest races? You said that it's a surprise, kind of surprise for you right now to be a leader at the sprint. But what about the forest races? Oh, I feel pretty comfortable with them. Uh, I think I can do good results in forest as well. So I really look forward for that. More into the middle or at the long? I think for both of them, but uh, probably uh, more for the long distance. Yeah. OK, thank you for Jakub Halopski, the new leader in the men's class. So still on the men's class, we have uh, several uh, favorites uh, for the medals uh, still to come uh, from Germany, Anselm Reichenbach. Bib number 48, uh, Lithuanian Tadas Dementevich is 47, Jürgen Jonas 43, Gonzalo Ferrado 37. So now just uh, let's comment a little bit here, the route choice, you see different route choices between the top three men uh, on uh, today's course. So Muller uh, using uh, the route choice uh, more to the north and uh, Halupski and Way using uh, more on the red route choice that we were commenting about. So you see that there are so many ways to do this uh, long leg on the men's course. And also the Norwegian Braga tackle, bib number 21, Pascal Schara, Switzerland, bib number 19. Several strong athletes are still to wait they start. Czech Republic and two Swiss in the top three for the men, then Denmark, Norway, Slovakia in top of six, then two Swedish in the seventh split position. When uh, the Portuguese Pedro Lagarto now here in the finish, uh, always have to comment this, uh, so he's coming into the position number 31 in the men's class. Uh, no, decent no, race from him. No, Latvijas Edvars Vigzniņš 22. vietā, Matīs Saulī 28. Pagājušā gadā no mūsiem labākais bija Matīs Saulīt ar 60. vietu, šogad vajadzētu būt labāk. So, in the women's class, nothing uh, really big is happening, so we are waiting for Anna Sudol, uh, the Polish runner. She is uh, fighting for a position among the top 10 right now. She was at 27th last year in a sprint, but better result was for Polish in the forest with 13th and 10th in the middle and long accordingly. Yeah, she's uh, mainly a forest runner, Anna Sudol. She will uh, for sure do really good things on the forest. And Brage Takle now here. No, not Brage. Uh, Alfred Bjørneröd, yes. Trial Morge, number 82. Mm. First gang in Junior Verdens Mesterskap. Was on the sixth place in sprint over the fjord in jun Ungdoms class. Alfred Bjørneröd. Mm, was it Alfred? No. The best Norwegian is Ingerd into the fifth place so far. But Czech Republic with Halopski still in front of all. So now Romanian uh, here in the TV. So it's uh, Alexia. Alexia Tudorake. In this moment, ajunge la primul post de control TV. Iată că avem și un sportiv care pleacă chiar în acest moment. Este vorba de Clujianul cu numărul 64. She's very young athlete. John Chick Andre, care va lua harta în acest moment și pleacă în cursă. In this moment, the leader of is Jakub Halubski from Czechia. And here is Jancic, who has left the course. He is already going to the first post of control. For Jancic, it's already the third the junior championships. He was 111 so two years ago in Turkey. Last year, among top 100 with 94th place. 
So another improvement awaiting for Janschik. Slovenian nature, Turk, on the start line together with the Danish. Yes. Smidla Mergensen. Mm -hmm. But in the Swedish side, on the men, Hannes Morgensen could be also with some Danish origin. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. I'm not so sure, but his father was, I believe, also one uh, Danish. Uh, uh, walk runner, so he, he was really famous. But uh, he's living in Sweden, I think, or in the area of Stockholm. The Morgensen sounds like a s uh, Danish, but yeah, yeah. Morgensen would be <laughs> Swedish. Mm. Still in the lead, Jakub Halopski in the men's class and in the women's class, Mara Maroshirito with 15.13, and Jakub Halupski's time is 16.7 seconds. Right after him is the Swiss guy, Dominic Müller, 16.14. And on the third position, also from Switzerland. So uh, in the pictures, uh, Arvid Sepp from uh, Sweden, uh, punching the control right there. 14 minutes, I think it's almost 15 minutes running time for him. And a Slovakian Filip Janczyk who earned the silver in Bulgaria a few days ago behind Foldy from Hungary who won the golden sprint. So this season in Bulgaria, in European Orienteering Championship, it was uh, Hungary who took the gold in a sprint, uh, Felfoldi and Maramoroshi, and Maramoroshi leading here in junior class as well. And Czech Republic, Thomas Kucher won the gold in a long distance, and Halopski leading here in a sprint in the junior class. Iar în acest moment a sosit la finish și Alexia Tudorache din echipa națională a României. Now at the start, uh, Janka Mikes from Hungary in the women's class and Orbay Yilts from uh, Turkey. Uh, Yilts from Turkey last year for him in the junior class. Last year, 2022, he was 141st in Portugal in a sprint. <clears throat> so right now, again, the top six in the women's class because there's Penelope Salmon from New Zealand. We were talking about her some uh, minutes ago and uh, she came in uh, to the top six also Anna Sudol already finished in eighth position so really good top ten position for her really too so right now the top six in the women's class first place Rita Maro Marossi second place Evalina Oyanaho third place Christine Melby Jacobson fourth position Victoria Mag fifth position Penelope Salmon and sixth position Enriette Radzikowski from uh, Switzerland. On the men's side, uh, Czech Republic, then two Swiss, and then Denmark, Norway, and Slovakia in top uh, six uh, such a countries. Halowski, Müller, Wey, Jensen, Ingerd, and Jancic. So, best uh, Frenchman, uh, Romain Picard, into the ninth place. Best Estonian, Krav in 12th. Second best uh, Slovakian, Rochat into the 15th place. On the start with a 59, we can see Matthias Stregel from Czech Republic. And also 238. It's um, Man Hei Meri Yao from Hong Kong, 16 years of age, Hong Kongese. Oh no, we have one woman which is going well. Yeah, for Matisse Stregel, competed also. He won the gold in a sprint in ski orienteering. Matisse Stregel. 
was uh, three years ago in the youth category. And are now commenting here on the pictures because Sala Isoheranan, the young Finnish girl, she's also running really well. You can see there on the first control, she's in fact slightly ahead of Rita Maro Marossi. So she's uh, running really, really well. Now a little bit behind there, based only on the, they are doing exactly the same route choices, but Rita is faster. So it's a hard and, uh, Now here, different route choices going into control number 12. And this, I, th I think it was bad route choice from uh, Sala here, because Rita all really, really got a really big gap here. So Issa Haranen was fifth in the long distance, in the middle distance last year. Won the bronze with the teammates in the relay. But there's several medals, including gold in the youth category for the Sala. But the tail is 60 seconds, so I think that this means that she is maybe 20 seconds behind uh, Rita Maro Marossi. And uh, the current uh, runner in second place, Evalina Oyanaho, she is 37 seconds behind Rita Maro Marossi. And now, now you have also the tail for uh, Evalina Oyanaho. Different route choice. I think that if you exit the control to the east, you need to do a, a route choice like Evalina Oyanaho is doing. So Sala is ahead and she will lose time on this route choice. That is for sure. And then you see there a mistake from Rita Maromarossi there. So she was going on the wrong uh, streets before she corrected and go to control number 12. And meanwhile, uh, Polish Stanislav Panczyk just finished a few seconds ago into the 24th position, one and a half minute behind the leader. Încă 30 de secunde pentru Cătălin Cătălin Vădean, care este din Baia Mare. Deci încă 30 de secunde pentru el și va lua startul în această cursă. And at the start line, Imogen Peters from Great Britain, together with Tomasz Kaza, Kasa from uh, Slovakia. For Imogen last year, she was a British athlete, 86 in the sprint, 44th in the middle. In the middle, best result came for the Imogen. Mm -hmm. You can see Toby Cozzolato, that's a not Italian, but Australian. Cozzolato. So uh, nothing is happening here uh, on the, the top of the result lists for the women, but the nine minutes, also one of the big favorites will start. Pia Youngvik, the fourth from last year's sprint uh, in uh, Jaywalk uh, in Portugal. She is uh, going to start and she's also a contender for the medals today. She was in the team of Hocoline that was second in uh, Venla some uh, weeks ago in uh, Finland. They were fighting almost all the way till the end for the victory. We can see Bulgaria and Renata Nenko on a screen. Last year Katalin she was second in this moment last start. So un număr de concurs 54 fiind acasă în fața prietenilor, coechipierilor, familiei. Poate fi un plus, dar poate fi și o presiune pentru el. Să sperăm că va fi un plus. Și avem speranțe mari să facă o cursă bună aici la Baia Mare în orașul său natal. Okay. Hai Cătălin. So now the time for uh, Sala Isoheranan. You see her on the, the pictures. And she punched the pre-warning in the nine position. 39 seconds. 
slower than uh, Rita Maro Marossi. So she is in the fight for the medals, I may tell you. Because right now, in bronze medal position, Christine Melby Jacobson, she is exactly 39 seconds slower than uh, Rita Maro Marossi. So, uh, Salahi Soheranan still in contention for the top position today in the women's class of the Junior World Orienteering Championships 2023. We can see, can see on the screen, if, I'm not sure if it's the right result, but uh, oh, Jim Bailey from Great Britain. Oh, fantastic, fantastic run by Jim Bailey. Fantastic. He punch at the second radio control in the men's class. 13 minutes and 3 seconds. This is, means that he is 4 seconds faster than Jakub Halupski. Who have followed the 100 meter sprint event, I remember Donovan Bailey, Canadian Olympic champion in sprint event, but this is British Jim Bailey and running also so fast. Yeah, but it sprints, but in orienteering sprint is not 100 meters. Yeah. So it's my colleagues at work, uh, <laughs> the ones that are coaching athletics, they always say, why do you call these sprints? Because sprint is when you go 100, 200 meters. 400 this is, maximum. This is like a middle distance race yeah. because they are running 15 minutes. And in fact, right now, the leader, Jakub Halupski, with 16 minutes and 7 seconds. And now we can see Jakub Halupski and Jim Bailey's route choices. Let's see where exactly Jim Bailey is at the moment. So this is the live comparison. You see that Bailey is slightly ahead of Chalupski. But now best good route choice from Halupski there. You see, we talked about this route choice before. And it's really, really tight. It's down to the second. Look at this. They are doing the same route choices, but it's so close. So, so close. It seems like Halupski is slightly ahead. Slightly ahead, maybe a few seconds. And Bailey is heading right soon. now to the control yeah, number Pretty 26. soon we will have a Jim Bailey at the last control. At the Dacia that we have there from the sponsors that has the last control. Now you see, pretty soon, Jim sprinting to punch the last control. Here he comes, here he comes. And he is fighting, he's fighting for the gold medal. He's fighting for gold medal, Jim Bailey. Passing right there, and it is so, so close. So close between Jim Bailey and Habkub Chalupski. Oh. So we need to wait for the official time. And we need to wait if he has all the controls, because we yeah. could see already we always one time. Trust, but we always one trust the athletes. See some mistakes. So last year it was Molly with 12th and Grierson in the 13th. So best the two Brits who were just outside top 10. But now Bailey going for the medal. Last time Britain uh, won the medal at junior class in a sprint event was five years ago in Hungary when uh, Felborn was second behind the uh, German uh, Colin Kolbe who won the gold. And Fosser, the uh, famous Fosser, was third. Okay, so now we have the time for uh, Jim Bailey. And he goes into silver medal position. 16 minutes and 12 seconds. This means that he is five seconds slower than Hakub Chalupski. So new top three in the men's class. In gold medal position from Czechia, Jakub Chalupski. In silver medal position from Great Britain, Jim Bailey. And in bronze medal position, Dominic Muller from Switzerland. Dominic Müller losing two seconds to the British Bailey. And now Benjamin Way outside the top three in the fourth position. No, no anymore to Switzerland among top three. Three different countries. Yeah, yeah, and it's always, always good to see that we have a lot of countries in the top. And uh, it's good to see that today the race is going down to the second. So, so close between uh, these uh, top men. Okay, I have Jim Bailey right near me. Jim. Did you hear anything at the finish line after you crossed? Uh, something about second, which I don't believe, because the second half, uh, oh, I was so tired. It was great, though. I completely clean race, uh, maybe some wrong route choices, but yeah, it was good. I'm happy that my goal was to have a clean technical race and not worry about the running. And I did that, but the last half, I needed to have a bit more running. But it was good. And I, 
I'm very, very happy. Thank you very much. It was a great course. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Bailey from the Great Britain, right now in second position. Meanwhile, uh, good news for the front. Uh, Guillaume Verov uh, lying in a second place, just two seconds behind the Miller, who was fastest at the first split. And Verov was among those four or five who were split the 50th place last year. Yes, and uh, Verov, uh, Guillaume Verov, uh, she, he is a talent. He is uh, in my personal list. I have a. Uh, a little bit, we were talking yesterday, I have a little bit of uh, flavor for uh, the French, Le Bleu. So uh, Verhoeve uh, is uh, running really well. You can see that uh, he's really going down to the seconds between him and Chalupski. And they are running pretty much the same route choices there. But uh, I, I maybe like 10 seconds advantage for Verhoeve. You said Maybe. Le Bleu, but it should be A Le Baguette. Yeah, this is, this is an internal joke with the <laughs> team. So if he's coming to get the gold medal position, we will not say Allez Le Bleu, we will say Allez Le Baguette. He will be happy. He will be happy <laughs> to hear this. I remember Vero is uh, from last year. He won the silver in the youth category in the sprint event. So would like to earn some medal in the junior as well. And he's a really good talent, really good talent, Gillian Verov. Meanwhile, we could see on the screen Tadas Dementavich, Lithuanian. He won the middle distance gold medal from last year in a youth category. Tadas Dementavich. Dintre sportivii români avem pe traseu în acest moment pe Ion Cic Endre din Cluj-Napoca și pe Cătălin Vădean de la Baia Mare. Așadar, băiatul din orașul Baia Mare este deja pe traseu. Să sperăm că va face o cursă bună. Așteptăm cu nerăbdare primul split de la Cătălin. So uh, we are waiting for Guillaume Verov. In the meantime, Salah is Oheranan. Uh, she finished her race and she went into position number eight in the women's class. So uh, top six still uh, Rita Marno Marossi, Evalina Oyanoho, Christine Melby Jacobson, Victoria Mog, Penelope Salman, Henriette Radzikovsky, and Anna Karlova. Anna already in seventh position. On the woman's side, the Norwegian week could be one of those who can uh, yeah. contend for the medals. I think that uh, Pia Youngvik is a clear favorite for the medals. Uh, she has uh, a lot of experience. She knows how to handle the pressure of the big championships. Let us remind you that last year at the first sprint relay junior world champion, she was the one that finished the relay for Norway and got the first gold medal in the It seems that he might be our new leader. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure that uh, Virov, uh, Guillaume Virov, uh, will come into the leader's chair in the men's class. For sure, he is hearing us right now. He's punching the third, the last control. And coming here into the arena, seems like the gap is maybe 15 seconds over uh, the leading time of Hakub Shalupski. So we are waiting for the Frenchman. Yeah, he and was, the uh, time is signing right now, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, and he's punching, and he's in the running, and he's coming into gold medal position. Big end of applause for Guillaume Vero from France. The new leader in the men's class. Going faster than 16 minutes. First man. Or something. Exactly. Yeah, yes, indeed. For sure. The first man to go below the 16 minute mark in today's course. So last year he was in a split the 15th place with uh, German Reisenbach, uh, Norwegian Lofald, and uh, Brown from Sweden. And now definitely medalist could be. Mm hmm. So, good race for uh, Guillaume Verhoeve, uh, the Frenchman, uh, going uh, 
into gold medal position in the men's class. So the new top three. First place for Guillaume Verhoeven, second place for Jakob Halubski, and third position for Jim Bailey. So it's France, Czechia, and Great Britain on the podium in the men's class. So it was uh, approximately one hour ago they were battling uh, to be faster than 17 minute mark. Mm. Now it's a new limit here. Yeah. And uh, if we look on the top three in the women's class, we have uh, Hungary, Norway, and Finland. and Finland. So this means that all the six medalists are from different, different countries. Yeah, so exactly. six different countries right now on the medals in the sprint distance of the Junior World Orienteering Championships sprint final here in Bayamare, in Romania. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have our new leader from France, Guillaume Verov, with the new best time, the first man who passes under 16 minutes. More exactly, 15.55. What a race from Guillaume. Tell us, how was the race for you? It was very difficult because uh, it was very long and, uh, and very hard to orient in this kind of uh, city. But uh, I did just uh, two little mistakes. Uh, I didn't see so uh, straight because it was a little bit uh, little, but uh, it, was, uh, it was good. So. I like it. You know, Bruno was hoping that you will arrive on the first position, so... <laughs> Say, allez le baguette. Allez le baguette. Allez le baguette. <laughs> okay, thank you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> and as Bruno, you said, there's six different countries in the medal position, but last year, in a sprint, was seven different countries uh, who yeah, were in the medal, because they were totally eight, and Norway, the only one with the two medals. But la last year, we had three guys on the bronze medal. So right now we don't have this, so mm -hmm. interesting, interesting, and, and it's always good for orienteering that this happens. And of oh. course, the sprint is the most open race of this championship. But right now, already on the, the course, Jürgen Jonas from Estonia, three minutes running time for him. And from those who started, the German Anselm Reichenbach is in 11th, Elfte Platz. Mm. And a good start for Katalin Vadean from Romania. Remember, Romanians around 80, 90 places when so far last year. So if somebody would be top 20, even top 30, that would be very good at the result. Yeah, last, uh, last year we didn't have the results we were expecting. But yesterday we had a press conference and there Jonas okay, Patras. So now, guys, uh, there we are live with Pia Jankvik compared with Rita Maro Marossi. We are live there, and I can tell you that uh, Pia Youngvik, she punched the first radio control in the women's class. 5.24, 5.24. This means that she is seven seconds faster than Rita Mauro Marossi at the first radio control in the women's course. And look at this. They are equal right now. They are totally equal and going to the same route choice. Yeah, is... Uh... As you said, the three seconds faster than Madame Rossi, but she is not the leader. No, She's no, forced. no, no. The leader at that control yeah. was Ines Berger and uh, Silva Kempi. But so we compared because between her and Rita, the leader here at the finish, she is in fact faster. And if you look at the GPS, it really seems that Pia Jongvik is running slightly faster than Rita Monomorosi. So this is, for me, the fight for the title of world champion in the sprints of the Junior World Orienteering Championships 2023. Pia Jongvik and Rita Mauro Marossi, who will become the new sprint world champion. From last year, we had Elsa Matila from Finland, but she is not here anymore. She's moved to the senior class. So we will have a new World champion. Will it be Pia? Will it be Rita? Zozo, who are you betting? And now we can see our Romanian athlete arriving. Iată și pe Cătălin Vădean în acest moment, cu număr de concurs 54. 
la ultimul split se afla pe locul 17, să vedem care este timpul lui final. Este un sportiv din Baia Mare de la CS Electrosystem. And also good start for Jurgen Jonas from Estonia. Punch the first radio control, 5.35. 5.35, this means he is seven seconds slower than the leader at the finish, Guillaume Verhoeve. So Jurgen Jonas on the fight for the gold medal. This kocht Jurgen Jonas. Last year he was a tenth, completing top ten best not only best Estonian, best from Baltic countries. Yeah, and uh, again, we saw really briefly the fight uh, between uh, Maro Marossi and Pia Youngvik. And uh, again, it's so, so, so tight. So tight between uh, Pia Youngvik and Rita Maro Marossi. This is the fight for the title of world champion. So we counted uh, this Norwegian girl, one of the favorites for the medals from the last uh, starters, and uh, she is really making this race interesting. Mm -hmm. Timpul lui toată limba de aia este de 17 minute și 21 de secunde. În acest moment locul 24 pentru Cătălin la masculin, 20 de ani aici la Baia Mare la campionatul mondial de orientare pentru tineret. Now the comparison, Jonas between Verov, some slight different route choices uh, to some of the controls. I think this really good route choice there from Jonas getting some seconds, but it's so, so tight between the two of them. It seems like Jonas is some seconds behind, but uh, still in contention. Oh, oh here, long piece. interesting, different route choice here. And now we are live. Now we are live with Jonas. And Jonas is taking this different route choice. We saw it, it's slightly longer, but uh, it is technically much, much more simple to do this. It can run really, really fast there. And you can just focus on the running, not too much thinking, but still. Mm -hmm. So, and now we got the punch uh, from uh, Pia Youngvik. So pretty soon she will be at the TV control. Very soon, when then the Estonian will make this uh, longer distance running from the 13th to 14th control, we'll see. He was a fifth before. Maybe he will be among top three on the next uh, split. So the fight that we are following, Pia Youngvik versus... Uh, Week uh, was a force last year, losing just four seconds to the medal. And as uh, Bruno said, uh, she helped her teammates to win this sprint relay gold. Yeah, but you that see that uh, this is a bad route choice from Pia Youngvik to control number 15. The route choice from Rita Maromarosi is slightly better. It's shorter. It's she has to run less distance to go to control number 15 and this is reflecting to what we are seeing on the screen what we are seeing is that rita is still leading this race so probably we lost the gold medal hope say here in that yeah yeah indeed. To 15, mm -hmm. but still she is among the medal yeah contenders. so uh, now she is uh, fighting for the silver medal right now she is fighting for the silver medal because remember, Mara Maroshi is leading by 37 seconds mm -hmm. in front of second best uh, Finn Oyanako. On the men's side, it's not so big gaps. Yeah, but uh, we were expecting a big gap from Rita Maro Marossi. She is uh, like we are talking and talking and talking. She is the big favorite for today's. And now you see there also the GPS from uh, the silver medal positioned right now, Evelina Oyanako. So you see that Pia Youngvik is slightly ahead of uh, Evalina Oyanaho, so she really needs to execute this last part of the course in a really, really good way. It's such a performance in the running, Mara Morse could make it a Hungarian team for the World Championships in athletics because Budapest is hosting it. Well, she made the, the senior team last year at the senior walk at the World Ornithian Championships. So she is a talent and she is still only 18 years old. So she's so young.
the same age as Evelina Oya and Aho. Both of them, they are so, so big talents and they are so, so young. For Pia Youngvik, this is the last year as a junior. So this is the last year that she has a chance to get a medal in the sprints in the junior class. On the screen with the 31, you can see Daniel Belachowski, born in 2005, 36 last year in the sprint, but there was 11 and 10 in the forest distances. He's a bronze medalist in the sprint in the youth two years ago in the Lithuanian, still medalist in the middle, in the long distance, and the gold medalist in the relay in the youth. But he's a, such a big talent, this guy, Bolachowski, uh, talking to the senior athletes in Czechia. They say this guy is really a really big talent. So we always hope for good things from him. Also good things we hope from the Spaniard, Gonzalo Ferrando, passing at the first radio control. Five minutes and 30 seconds, fourth position for him. Only four seconds slower than Dominic Muller. But in fact, he's only two seconds slower than Guillaume Bureau. But we have a new leader in the men's class. Anselm Reichenbacher, Germany, Erste Platz. So he was a 15th best German last year with a 15th place, but now it looks like he's a new leader. 1547, we have two men on the 60 minute mark. The row France, a 1555, and uh, Anselm Reichenbach, uh, Germany, Deutschland in the uh, lead. Now we are oh. focusing to wait uh, because also Pia Youngvik uh, finished uh, her race uh, into a new silver medal position. 1537, 24 seconds slower than Rita Maro Marossi. So the new top three in the women's class, first position, Rito Maromarossi, second position, Pia Youngvik, and third position, Evalina Oyanaho. Guni had a furnace get till Hengere, Pia Youngvik, Ligue Pond, the plus the Hunanes best, Tapper till Leder Marmorsi, the Chief Fire Second, Ovik, some want a gold medal, a mess of the lag, and now can ta an individual medal, first junior class. Meanwhile, good news for the Finnish fans. Hua Suomi, Sampo Sankilo leads in the first split, 5.26 for him. So big cheer here for uh, New Zealand uh, finishing uh, right here. So yes, for uh, Anselm Reichenbach, still no top 10 places. He was 15th in the sprint, 14th in the middle distance in the junior category last year. In the youth category, he was 12th in the uh, sprint. And that was in 2019 in Grodno. So, uh, so now we see the replay there from Ferrando and Reichenbach. Uh, the two fastest guys right there, right now. You see Ferrando getting a small gap here in the beginning. As Anselm Reichenbach has taken the lead, reminds us. But uh, then Colin, uh, Reichen, Colin. Reichenbach here coming back with a stronger running speed and really catching time on Ferrando and time on Ferrando. And he's getting really close there. But Ferrando, what a talent, this young Spanish guy. His coach has said if he's not making a mistake, he can take the gold medal. He yes, won the indeed. gold in the youth category. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He's such a talent runner and is so so motivated to learn and to know everything about orienteering so uh, yes he can do really good things also jürgen jonas passed uh, with the new second best time uh, at the tv control so uh, mm -hmm. only three seconds slower than guillem verhoff and Reichenbach's leading position reminds us uh, five years ago in 2018 in Hungary, Colin Kolbe from Germany won the gold in a sprint. Mm. That's the last German gold. And uh, if you look at the split times, you see that from the last radio control to the finish, Ansel Reichenbach won eight seconds. And uh, this last part of the course is just purely running speed. There's no route choice on the last part of the course. And uh, Finn Sankelo, who is leading in the first uh, split. Now Jurgen Jonas here sprinting all the way to the finish. And uh, maybe, I think this is a new third best time in the men's class for the Estonian runner. Yeah, Kolbas kocht uh, Jurgen yeah, Jonas. Indeed. Hesti new Vega Hesti Jurgen. So new third best time for Jurgen Jonas. 15.56, nine seconds slower than Hansel Reichenbach. And just one second behind the French Verov. 
And we are waiting for Anselm Reichenbach from Germany, who has or who could be the new leader in the men's class. And Jonas was best Baltic country athlete, in a, not only in a sprint with a 10th place, but overall from all individual distances. And now he is in the third. Yeah, so, uh, and you see that uh, right now, Reichenbach is slightly ahead of Ferrando. Let's see the root choice here. This is, we have seen this, this is a little bit of the size of root choice, 16 to 17. And we can see in the finish is a top of three under 16 minute mark. It means if you want to earn a medal, you must go up faster than 16 minutes. That's definitely. But Ferrando is like slightly ahead, maybe 10 seconds. So it is so, so close. So, so, so close. At control uh, 23, Verhoeven and uh, Reichenbach, they had equal time there. But uh, Reichenbach was faster from there to the finish. Also a good start for Arne Ronkanen from Finland. He's fourth in the first uh, split. Mm -hmm. Sankelo leads, Sankelo first time in the Junior World Championships. 59th, he was four years ago in Belarus, Grodno, in the youth. Yes, indeed. So, uh, as for the women, uh, nothing is changing right now in the course. The fastest so far out there is at the first radio control is Mila Key from Australia. She passed there in 21st position. What can he do in the the sprints here today. Yeah, Baker was only 117th last year in the sprint. And the Belgian, 220. And that's uh, Tila de Small. She will have another year in the junior class. She was a 33rd last year in a sprint, 34th in the middle, 16th in the youth class last year in uh, Hungary. So now the replay here, because we are watching uh, Sampo Sankelo from Finland, the leader at the first radio control, but he made a mistake here on the long leg. So this means that he is no longer in the lead. It's close to the time of uh, Reichenbach, but he's not leading. Still in contention for a medal position. So now here in the running, uh, Harni Ronkanen from Finland sprinting uh, into uh, seventh position, I think. Into seventh position, Harni Ronkanen from Finland. He was a 37th last year in a sprint to end, but has won medals in the youth category. So the, no changes in the women's class, uh, and uh, no one. Uh, punching uh, the radio controls that is threatening uh, the lead uh, and even the top six. Meanwhile, for first appearance for Nathan Borton, uh, New Zealander in the Junior World Championships. Uh, now he's a 13th, yeah. almost minute behind the leader, uh, Reichenbach. And uh, now uh, we will start uh, waiting uh, for uh, Gonzalo Ferrando. Vamos la España. Vamos chicos, dos que están en casa. Vendo la transmisión de los streaming de los Jaywalk, porque lo puedes tener un campeón del mundo, Gonzalo Ferrando. So maybe this is a fight for the title of world champion in the men's class. Gonzalo Ferrando and Ansem Rachenbach. 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds for Gonzalo Ferrando to beat the time of Ansem Rachenbach. The time is counting. We are waiting for him to punch the last control and to come into the finish. Will this be gold medal? Here he comes. Here he comes, Gonzalo Ferrando. And it is so close between him and Anton Rachenbach. And he is sprinting all the way to the finish. But it will not be gold medal for Ferrando. I think it is silver medal position for Gonzalo Ferrando. What a fantastic race for him, indeed.
15 minutes in 54 seconds. Seven seconds slower than Ansel Rachenbach. Oi, oi, oi. And he's one second faster than Verro from France and two seconds faster than Estonian Jonas. So Jonas is moved out of the top of three with the fourth place. Verro still in the medal position with the third, one second behind Ferrano. Oh, fantastic. Oh, so happy for Gonzalo. He really, really deserves these results. I know he will be a little bit pissed because all the runners want to be world champions. Anselm Reichenbach, if you hear me, please go to the stage because you are the current leader. Take your position. Thank you. But remember, the, as the Spanish uh, Fernando is uh, from last year. He won the gold in uh, sprint in the youth category. Yeah, now Sampo Sankelo, he was leaving uh, for uh, some time, uh, but he's coming here, yes, for a podium position, but I think this is a new fifth or sixth best time in the men's class. New fifth or sixth best time for Sanke Sampo. Yes, fifth best time. Fifth best time for him. 16.06, 19 seconds slower than Anselm Reichenbach. So, the top six in the men's class. First position, Hansel Reichenbach. Second position, Gonzalo Ferrando. Third position, Guillaume Virov. Third... Uh, 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 Ferrando disappeared. Oops, uh, what happened with Ferrando? I mean, only well, yeah, San Kilo what competed happened? in Grodno in Belarus uh, four years ago, and since then he didn't compete in international championships. So second appearance for San Paul San Kilo in uh, international championships since Grodno 2019 event. He was only 59th in a sprint and 83rd in a long distance. And now he is among the top uh, oh, six so, so far. So, uh, boy, bad news for Spain, bad news for Spain because Gonzalo Ferrando had a miss punch. He didn't punch control 41. So this means that we go back. And uh, the top six, so this means that Sanco, San, Sankelo Four. was upgraded to fourth position. So right now, top six, first position, Hansel Ranschenbach. Second position, Guillaume Verhoeve. Third position, Jürgen Jonas. Fourth position, Sampo Sankelo. Fifth position, Jakub Halupski. And sixth position, Jim Bailey. So Germany, France, Estonia, Finland, Czechia, and Great Britain on the podium of the men's class. So Estonia and once back. again, Anselm, please take your position at the stage because you are the current leader. So once again, Anselm from Germany, take your position at the stage. Thank you. Yeah, the Estonia returns on the podium so far currently. Jürgen Jona third. Mm. And the Krav, uh, Chris Marcos in the 19th position, the second best Estonian. Two Estonians in top at 20, one in the third place, yeah, so one in 19. Now we see the miss punch here from uh, Ferrando. Now we see he goes straight to control 20, so he skipped control 19. Oh, what a pity for him. What a pity for Ferrando. But still, yeah, you need to keep uh, your head up high because you have more races during all this week. Yeah. And uh, where are we, Zozo? I don't know. Where are we? We are in Baia Mare at the Jaywalk 2023. And after 27 years, the Jaywalk has come back to Romania. And we are so proud and happy that we can organize this competition. A lot of people have been working and are working still. That everything to be perfect. No? Așadar, doamnelor și domnilor, după 27 de ani, iată că Jvocu s-a întors în România, ultima dată în 1996, în județul Vâlcea, la Govor, am avut un campionat mondial la orientare pentru tineret. Atunci am obținut și câteva medalii, chiar și aur. Astăzi, în schimb, ne batem pentru un loc 20. Ieri, la conferința de presă, președintele Federației, Patra Ionuț a zis că dacă obținem un loc 50, deja un top 50, atunci o să fim mulțumiți. It looks like also the Norwegian Brage Takle is going good. Norske Brage Takle, Hardy and Veldi got. Yeah, so pretty soon Brage will be at the first radio control. 
Riley Crocs for from New Zealand. This beat number 35 in the finish. So now you can see Brage Takle there uh, on the pictures. And uh, this couldn't make me more proud. Is from uh, Christian Sandoko in the south, south, south of Norway. I was coaching Christian Sun when he was only 12 years old. And uh, now, all these years after, you see in the pictures, he is leading the sprint of JWAC 2023. Fantastic start for uh, Brage Takle. As for the women, uh, the time is passing and no one is threatening uh, the lead of uh, Rita Marlo Marossi. So uh, in uh, 10 minutes time, we will have for sure the final results in the women's class. But right now, in gold medal position, Rita Maromarossi, silver medal position, Pia Youngvik, bronze medal position, Evalina Uyanaho. And then in fourth place, Christine Melby Jacobson, fifth place, Victoria Mog, and sixth position, Penelope Salman from New Zealand. So uh, if Tomas is hearing me, really good call, Tomas, because Tomas was really betting on Penelope to do a fantastic race today. And she delivered. She delivered. Really good race for Penelope Salmon. Yeah, Norway hasn't won uh, for the longer time on the men's side, the sprint event. Norway hasn't won the sprint event on the men's side for the longer time. Last year, Alstad was a second. Um, also, Foster was a third in 2018. So now coming into the finish, Mathieu Burrer from Switzerland fighting for a place among the podium. And indeed he goes. I think this is a new fourth best time for Matthias Burrer. Yeah, Matthias Burrer, mm -hmm. born only in 2006. So he won the bronze in a sprint event in a youth category last year in Hungary, won the gold in a long and won the gold in a relay. Now first appearance for Mathieu in a junior category and that's a fourth place so far. Just behind Estonia and Jonas Verrove from France and Reichenbach from Germany. Yes, and uh, an interesting call because Matthias Burer is the son of uh, Thomas Burer. Swiss uh, runner that won, uh, I think, bronze medal in the long distance in Switzerland. And he was coaching uh, the Swiss team for many years. So he, he was with me in Portugal for some training camp. So really good to see him really perform with this new fourth best time in the men's class. Last year, Benjamin Weib was best Swiss with the seventh place in a sprint. Yeah, the Swiss, all the Swiss are really good in the sprint distance. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, Weib is in the 11th place, but uh, our mentioned uh, Burer is best Swiss with the mm -hmm. fourth result. Now in the pictures, I think this was Matthias Barros Valle there. Uh, he's 13 minutes, so uh, yeah, he will be slightly outside of uh, the contenders. Maybe still fighting for the top 10 position. Meanwhile, Ivere Dalsone, Thun Freya, Norske Gutt, Beste Freya, Norge i mål med 20. plass. Taper 24 sekunder til ledere Tusk Reichenbach. And uh, Nordman went there for the Brage Takle. On the screen, uh, bib number 12, Erwin Evig from Romania. Local Romanian with bib number 12 to start. Born in 2006, last year he was 111th in the sprint. 58 in the middle for Erwin was a better result in the middle distance. So uh, it's uh, almost all over for the women. So now we are really focusing on the men. Uh, Brage Takle, Pascal Scharrer also running really, really well. So uh, hmm? still okay, something Bruno, can change. Okay, Bruno, I have Ansem Reichenbach right near me. So we get. Uh, it's good. I'm enjoying the moment. Uh, quite surprised that I'm leading. And yeah, enjoying my time here. And uh, hey, Why are you... Guys, you can see the replay um, uh, and you can comment on because uh, you run so well on this long leg. You see here, Brage is leading you before the long leg is really in front of you. And then he's making a small mistake there and you are already in the lead, still in the lead. How was it, this long leg for you? Um, 
Yeah, uh, that uh, long leg, I think that was the decisive point in my run. Before that, I felt a bit slow, did a few mistakes. But after that, I really picked up the pace. So, yeah. You were born in Norway, so somehow you are used to the Scandinavian terrains. Are you expecting maybe more in the forest than at the sprint? Because you said that surprised you are in the sprint. Uh, no, I'm definitely more of a sprinter. Uh, sprinter. And uh, yeah, if, I'm, if I do well here, I'll run without pressure in the forest. And I think I can be decent there, but I definitely am a better sprinter. Thank you, Thank you ladies and gentlemen. Our current leader in the men's class from Germany, Anselm Reichenbach. So, Zoltan, you can, you can ask uh, Anselm which anthem he would like to hear. Einigkeit, Rechts und Freiheit or Jave Elsker, Norwegian anthem. So now at the finish, Matthias Barros Valle. He finished his course going in, ten, I think, position number 12. So outside of uh, the top 10 today. So at the moment, it's difficult to say what the standings uh, nah, are. The standings the are the same. The standings the are finish, the same. Yeah, but, uh, from the last the starters, what they are doing in the course. But the standings so are the same. So now our focus is for Brage. The focus is for us is to see what is Brage Takle going uh, to do today. On the screen we can see more it's a Czech, but it's not from Czech Republic, it's from Austria, Österreich, I'm more Czech. Last year he was 56 in a junior sprint, so that's the best result for him. He didn't finish the long distance, was 87 in the middle. So once again the first six place is in man 20. First place for Anselm Reichenbach at the moment. Second, Guillaume Vero from France. Third place at the moment for the Estonian Jürgen Jonas. Then we have from Switzerland Mathieu Bürer and on the fifth position from Finland Sampo Sankelo and sixth position for the Czech Jakub Halupski. But we saw on the pictures the uh, GP, GPS uh, replay because out there in the streets of Bayamare is still Pascal Schare and Brage Takle. These two guys, they can still come and take some of these medals away. From the GPS, we see that they are not threatening the lead of Ansel Ranchenbach. Yeah, Reichenbach was a driving Mercedes from control number 13 to 14. What a speed. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, like, again, at control number 23, Reichenbach was the same time as Guillaume Verhoef. The same time, 14.07. And on the last minute and, 40, minute and 40, he was eight seconds faster than Verhoef. So it was a tremendous last loop of the course for Hansel Reichenbach. So indeed, he's trying to be the next Colvin Kolb. We had Colin Kolb uh, some years ago winning uh, Jaywalk Sprint, and uh, Ansel Ranchenbach is really going on the right direction here. British uh, Ian the trainer is bit number seven on the screen. I remember another Brit. That was Bailey was among the leaders some time ago. And now while we wait uh, for uh, Brage to come here into the finish, he should be here in one and a half minutes. We should all stand up here in the arena and clap Rita Maro Marossi because officially she is the 2023 Junior World Sprint Champion. Rita Maromarossi, world champion in the sprints here in Bayamare. Big, big hand of applause for her. Doamnelor și domnilor, așadar, oficial, la feminina câștigat Maromarossi Rita din Ungaria. But let's, let, let Rage finish. 
Yeah, meanwhile, the last time Hungary won the medal, not the gold, but bronze, was uh, Gardoni in 2018 when the uh, World Championships took place in Hungary. Behind Abersold and Janosikova, Gardoni was a third bronze medal winner from Hungary, but now Marmarosik, the gold medal winner. Mm, and now here in the running uh, from Hungary, hmm? Thomas Fell Foldy. So now we are waiting for Brage. The time is running for Brage Takle. The time is running for him. If he wants to get a medal, we should be looking at the last control. I mean, well, Thomas Feffoldi, who finished, is a current uh, youth champion in the sprint. But the time is running, so uh, Brage Takle will not get a medal today. That is for sure. Still coming into the second loss control and then into the running. So pretty soon we will have him. But uh, maybe I think that he will even be outside of the top six. So the last part of the course was not so optimal. Maybe he was losing and getting tired. So the bit here at Norge Skala, I believe, with the medal. If you were all start a sell medal, yeah, so there you have him. There you have him. A Norwegian Takle coming. Uh, he was uh, among the top uh, 10 last year with a ninth place and now something similar. At the once uh, stage he could uh, be among top uh, three but not mm. at the end. Uh, yeah, I think uh, maybe position number 15 for Barrage Takle today. Here in uh, Bayamare, 16 in fact. 42 seconds slower than uh, Anselm Reichenbach. So, Takle somewhere on the 9th place in fjord. I år er på sjett. Ja, taper 42 sekunder til leder og... Han er nummer 16. Ja, så nå er vi i pitcher. Så Markus Steinnebo fra Sweden går ut av der. Det er bare tre menneskene som står på startlisten. Tion Solopek fra Kroatia. Breslav... Stednev from Bulgaria and Keegan Harkavy from uh, the United States of America. In the meantime, right now, Annabelle Delen, uh, the last woman to start today, finished her course, position number 20. So on uh, the podium today, in uh, the women's class, we will have uh, in first place and junior world champion, Rita Maromarossi. 15 minutes and 13 seconds. Then a silver medal for Pia Youngvik from Norway, 15.37. Bronze medal for Evalina Oyanahu from Finland, 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Fourth position for Kristin Melvi Jakobsen from Norway, 15.52. Fifth position for Victoria Mag from Hungary, 15.53. And the last in the podium, in the women's class, Penelope Salmon from New Zealand, 16.03. This is the top six in the women's class. So on the ladies' side, only one country, Finland winning medal in the second year in a row. Last year it was Elisa Mattila with a gold medal, now Oyanaho with a bronze. And uh, last year it was Swiss uh, Graber and Carlos from Czech Republic, but this year Norwegian Week and uh, Hungarian Mara Maroshi. And Oyenaho last year, she won the medal in the middle and the long distances. And only race individual was without the medal in the sprint. Now Oyenaho earning a sprint medal. And uh, I think that she will uh, get more medals. So now Pascal Scharrer. Hmm? Yes, indeed. Pascal Scharrer here in the finish. And this is position number 21, I think, for him. So similar to the Norwegian, Shara was also very close to the top 10, 11, and this year's several places mm -hmm. lower. Yeah, so uh, these runners, they were, the start of the race was really good, but toward the end of the race, they were maybe getting a little bit tired. Now the last starter. Now the last starter on the pictures. And also Norwegian uh, Pia Youngvik earning Norway's medal in the sprint event after several years. Norway didn't win a medal in the sprint. 
Not the last year, not in 2021, not in 2019, not in 2018, not in 2017, and neither in 2016. So after several years, Norway on a podium in sprint. So right now we have our last starter, Keegan Harkavy from the United States of America. Keegan Harkavy, Harkavy sounds like Ukrainian city, Kharkov. <laughs> so go, 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 go USA, go, go USA. Last year he was 108 just behind top of 100 in a sprint to win. That was his only appearance in Portugal, not in the middle and long distance. And uh, now uh, some more interesting news. Uh, you see cooperation here between Ansel Reichenbach, the leader here at the finish, and Gonzalo Zorrillo Ollas from uh, Spain. And look at the replay. Gonzalo is leading the race. Gonzalo Zorrilla is leading uh, the race uh, of uh, this uh, sprint uh, Junior World Championship. What didn't do another Gonzalo Ferrado, maybe another Gonzalo will do. No, oh, this, uh, this generation of young Spanish runners, they are really talented. And uh, a big shout out also for the coaching team of, uh, of Spain, because they are doing a fantastic work. So, uh, different route yeah, yeah. choices so here. Different route choices here. Different route choices here. Mm, we are seeing that, like, uh, maybe Reichenbach will win this with this route choice. At the beginning of the streaming, we were talking that this is the route choice that really pops up, this red route choice. But anyway, Zorilo Elias, if he will continue like that, yeah, he'll be among top Zorri six, maybe. Zorilla is going even north than the blue uh, route choice there. Mm -hmm. So probably he will run through the yeah. street, yes, right he will run, near the map. Run through the street and then uh, approach the control from the north there. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see. Interesting to see. And yeah, not to concentrate uh, which uh, place to go through, just to run straight. Yeah, but still the, the root choice of uh, Reichenbach is it's better. better. It's bad, not slightly. It's better it than better. Uh, this root choice. But last year he was 49s only, so anyway, he's improving a lot. Mm -hmm. Zoli Aulias. Until maybe this moment. <laughs> no, and, and don't forget it, the last part of uh, Reichenbach is unbeatable. So you need to be ahead of him if you want to get the gold medal. So it seems that he will miss that leading position to control number 14 because on the screen you can see that at this moment Reichenbach already yeah he will be far behind here the 14th he will control be maybe 40 seconds behind maybe 30 to 40 seconds behind so that is a lot of time behind and he was running so well Germany, France, Estonia. France was only medalist in the sprint from last year with Basile Basset. In this moment, we see also Vig Erwin, the last sportive from Romania, who has taken the start with a number of concurs, 12, a sportive from Cluj-Napoca. In my last Serbian, Ivan Vujanovic finished. No complaints or...? Okay. So he's uh, for Serbian Vujanovic first time in the junior championships. But who? Spain, the he Spanish guy. The four years ago the Spanish in guy. Rodno, Probably Belarus. because he was disqualified. Mm. And now we can see the Belgium Mats de Smul running to the first TV control. Yeah, he's also competing first time in a junior category. Last year in Hungary in the youth category, he was 61st in a sprint and the same result came for Belgium in a long distance. Now Marcos Stenevo versus Anselm Reichenbach.
So the start of Stenebo was really good. And then, uh, as we will see, toward the middle of the course, he will start to lose a little bit of time. So good route choice here, going to control number four. And he's slightly ahead of uh, Anselm Reichenbach. Then here, he starts to lose some uh, seconds. And as born in 2004, first appearance in international championships for the Swede. Amok's experience and is an oil brown. And who is at 16 so far? And the Sweden won the gold last year with Axel Emblad. But now Sweden not among the top uh, 10 so far. And number 13, uh, Cooper Horley, Australia. First time in the World Junior Championships. 11th he was in a sprint in Bulgaria a few days ago. Okay, so now on the big screen, you can see the replay of the medalists in the women's class. So different route choice from Rita Maramorosi in the first uh, control. And she was slightly behind uh, here in the beginning. Evelina Oyanaho was slightly ahead. Then different route choice going to control number seven, still Evelina Oyanaho leading slightly over Rita Maramaroshi. Then here, the decisive route choice to control 12. And then at this stage and only uh, Maramaroshi and Vig battling. Yeah, so that's where Evelina Oyanajo lost the chance to get the gold medal. And here was where Pia Youngvik lost the chance of getting the gold medal. So. In fact, this was not only based on running speed. So Rita was doing the best route choices. So she has the best route choice to control 12. She has the best route choice to control 15. And again, hand of applause for Rita Maro Maroshi, the women world junior world champion in the sprints. And Mads de Smol from Belgium reaches the finish. A 61st, as I said earlier, in the youth category last year in Hungary. And today's sprint is his first appearance in the World Junior Championships. So this is almost, almost over, guys. Almost over. So the last starter, Keegan, eight minutes running time for him. So this means that eight minutes from now, we will know whether Hansel Reichenbach is the new junior world champion or not. I think so. I think so. Yeah, after five years, Germany could win again a sprint event in the World Junior Championships. So some eight athletes are still, some nine athletes on the course are still, but at the moment it looks like nobody from them threatening the top three so far. Well, we saw that the best was Gonzalo Zorrilla, but the time is running for him and he's still right now going into control number 25 out of 28. So we will even be outside of the top 10 today. And what a surprise for Ansem Reichenbach. He was even surprised that he is the leading yeah, maybe he says that he's surprised, but if you talk to the coach, I know that uh, he was hoping. Yeah, in the beginning, he had a really, really uh, easy start of the course because at the first radio control, he was in 25th position. He was down 26 seconds compared with Mathieu Burrer from uh, Switzerland. But there, from there on, he moved to fifth and then to third and then to first so and the end of the course was fantastic for him fantastic more stable performance from the row who was fifth and then leading next to three splits but at the end somehow he lost eight seconds to the german 
Now, so Zorrilla, Gonzalo Zorrilla now here in the running, uh, sprinting into position number 25, I think. 25 for the Gonzalo Zorrilla. On the screen, we can see this. It's Nazari Dali, Dali, Dani Luke. He was in uh, Portugal last year. They were uh, living in Portugal for quite some time uh, due to the war. And they were training there for jaywalk in Portugal. 119, he was in a sprint, uh, Ukrainian, but now Austrian in a finish. Austrian with a Czech uh, last name. Moritz Czech. Last year, he was best Austrian with a 56th place in a sprint. But now, Moritz cannot see him among the top 20. The Japanese Kotaro Fujiwara also arrived, and we are getting closer and closer to our final result, at least also in the men's class. So the leader is Anselm Reichenbach from Germany, second position right now for Guillaume Vero from France, and third position at the moment for the Estonian Jürgen Jonas. Yeah, it could be the Baltic medal first uh, since a long time ago. Now you and a trainer, uh, you and trainer at the running, uh, going into position number 40 for him. So in fact, the Gonzalo Zorrilla was 24 equal time with uh, Santere Kiryavainen from Finland. Yeah, for trainer last year, he was 20th in a sprint in the youth. So first a competition for him in a junior category. In this moment, we have Vadean Cătălin on the place 39 and there are still 5 sportives. So, if everything is going well, Cătălin will be in the top 50. In fact, he is already sure that he will finish in the top 50. Which is a great thing for him, because Însuși, președintele Federației, Patra Ionuț, a zis că ar fi mulțumit cu un top 50, măcar într-o zi să avem un sportiv sau o sportivă în top 50. Well, still a few athletes to come around the six men on the course. Yeah. Yeah, Ukrainian, so, uh, uh, Hungarian, Swedish, Croatian, Bulgarian, Swedish runner Swed is right American. now at control 23. So uh, it will come uh, in a few seconds to the finish. But nothing can uh, be changed in a top of three among medalists and either in a top of six. So for the men, two new medalists country in a sprint. That's a Germany and Estonia. In my France again on the podium, second year in a row. Uh, so now uh, Nazari is here at the finish. So, Daniluk uh, and Sobot, Ukrainian and Hungarian. Yeah, so Nazari going into position maybe 98 for him. So next should be Marcos Stenebo from uh, Sweden. And yeah. meanwhile, from Ukraine last year, it was Kovacuk with the best result, 58. So pretty soon uh, we can tell that Hansel Reichenbach is the new junior world champion. One and a half minutes for it to be official, but I think that he can already start to open the champagne bottle. Yeah, tomorrow once again the same start time at uh, 4.30, the sprint relay with two men and two women in a relay team and then on my wednesday we'll switch to the forest discipline starting with the middle distance then thursday is a free day friday long distance and on a saturday the last the fifth discipline the relay so first two ends in a city center of Bayamare, and then number four the swedish marcos stenebo 
Reach the finish. Sustainable competing first time in the <coughs> World Junior Championships. As yeah, Sweden. Last year it was Axel Emblad who took the gold. But the second best was Noel Brown with a 15th place. And now best is Swede yeah. just outside the top of 10. But in it fact, like Noel Brown was is almost the same place as last year. Yeah, last year he was 15. Last year was 15. This year he will be 16 together with Hannes Morgensen. And now we can see Keegan Harkavy from the USA, our last starter. Yeah, but in fact he's uh, doing a really, really okay race. Really okay race, I can tell you. Probably is good enough for the top 25. In and the meantime, Tihon Salopek from Croatia arrived. His father was also a very good orienteer, Tihomir Salopek. Yeah, meanwhile, American Keegan Harvey was the best American last year with 108th place. So this year. Yeah, but he yeah. will improve, I yeah. can tell you. Based on what we are seeing, he will be much, much better than last year. But right now, again, let's give a big hand of applause here at the arena, because it is official. Hanselm Reichenbach is the junior world champion in the men's class. Big, big hand of applause for him. Yeah, Germany winning once again uh, since 2018 when uh, Colin Colben Hungary took the gold, and now Axel Reichenbach, Anselm Reichenbach doing the same. So, uh, for the coaches, this means that right now, the top 15 are finished and we will open the official 15 minutes complain time. So it's 1941 and we open the official complaint time until 1956 so that we can proceed with the prize giving ceremony as expected at 20. So again, the 15 minutes window complaint time is now open because we have the final results, at least the top 20 in both men and the women's class. Doamnelor și domnilor, așadar avem câștigătorul la masculin în persoana lui Anselm Reichenbach din Germania cu timpul câștigător 15 minute și 47 de secunde. Pe locul 2 în acest moment, Ghilem Verov, locul 3, Jürgen Jonas din Estonia. Așadar, Germania, Franța și Estonia pe podium. Iar dacă totul merge bine, o să avem festivitate de premiere la ora 8 fix. Fix it. Yeah. So again, uh, we said it before, but the 15 minute window complaint time is now open. So please do not leave the time it's opened until 1956. Now we have the US runner uh, coming here into the finish. And uh, finishing uh, right there. Mm -hmm. Where, 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 where? So now let's see the replay uh, of uh, the medalists in uh, the men's class. So same route choice here for control number one. Jurgen Jonas slightly ahead there. Mm -hmm. So now it is Verov in the lead at control number three. Good route choice to control number four. So Verov is slightly ahead in the beginning of the course. We will see that Reichenbach is, uh, I think he will be behind at control number 13. And then from 13 on, he starts to climb on the results. So you see how far behind he was at control seven. So Verhoeve and Jonas, they were sharing the lead uh, at the beginning. 
then the decisive moment starts to be this long leg at control 13. Reichenbach executes this really, really perfectly. So if you look now, he's running slightly faster. He's getting closer and closer to Verhoeven. Look at the speed there. The lines are getting closer. So he's running slightly faster than Guillaume Verhoeven. And when he finish the long leg, he is uh, almost close to the lead. Again, a really good route choice to control number 17. Then good route choice to control 19. You really need to go on the right side, as we've seen on the women's course. Then right here, they are all almost together. So uh, what we will see is when it gets to control 23, Reichenbach and Verov, they have exactly the same time. And here, purely on running speed, Reichenbach is slightly pulling ahead and ahead and ahead and ahead and ahead and he becomes the new junior sprint world champion. So uh, congratulations for Hansel Reichenbach. So the top six in the men that will go to the podium. The gold medalists, Hansel Reichenbach from Germany, 1547. Then silver medal position for Guillaume Verhoeven from France, eight seconds slower. Bronze medal for Jurgen Jonas from Estonia, nine seconds slower. Fourth position for Mathieu Burer from Switzerland, 16 seconds slower. Fifth position for Sampo Sankelo, 19 seconds slower. And in sixth position, Jakub Halupski from Czechia, 20 second, 27, 20 seconds slower. So this means the top six, only 20 seconds are separating them. And uh, I can tell you that within one minute, we have 20 runners. So, so I would like to invite top six for the ladies and for the men to gather here next to the stage for the medal ceremony. Top six ladies and top six men. Mara Maroshi, Hungary. Week from Norway. Oyanaho, Finland. Jakobsen, Norway. Mag, Hungary. Mog, Hungary. And New Zealand, Salmon. And for the men's Reichenbach, Germany, Vero, France, Jonas, Estonia, Burer, Switzerland, Sankelo, Finland, and Halopski, Czech. All those top six place winners, please gather right now next to the stage for the award medal ceremony. For the men's, we have six different nations in top six. For the ladies, it looks like four nations, Norway and Hungary with the two athletes in top six. Așadar, doamnelor și domnilor, astăzi am avut o cursă foarte intensă, foarte interesantă chiar și cu o viteză de deplasare extraordinară, timpul câștigător la băieți fiind de 15 minute și 47 de secunde, la fete 15 minute și 13 secunde. Foarte curând o să avem și o festivitate de premiere, deci nu plecați departe, Haideți să aplaudați pe campionii noștri la Jvoc 2023, Baia Mare, Maramureș, România. Iar în ceea ce privește rezultatele românilor, la masculin, cel mai, cel mai bun loc a fost obținut de către Cătălin Vădean, un loc 39 cu timpul de 17 minute și 21 de secunde. Așadar, felicitări, Cătălin, este un sportiv chiar din orașul Baia Mare. Merită aplauzele voastre. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, 
Of course, uh, several improvements are uh, comparing with last year. Uh, German Reichenbach was best the German last year, but he was a uh, 15th. Now he's first. The row France last year, but still took the bronze. Now the row the silver medal. Jonas Estonia was best Estonian last year with 10th place this year. He is a bronze medalist. Vera Switzerland, the fourth uh, last year. Benjamin Wey was seventh best Swiss. Finnish uh, Sankilo finishing a uh, fifth last year. Best uh, Finn was uh, Toko Seppa. He was medalist in the forest disciplines, but in a sprint he was best Finn in the eighth place. So uh, Sankilo improving it. So Seppa set time and now Czech Szalowski. Is in a sixth place last year. Czech Republic was Daniel Belachowski. Only 36 now, 30 places higher. Czech Republic finishing this year. And Norwegian Thun is best Norwegian. Eva Dalsona Thun in a seventh place. And Norway was two medal winners last year with Alstad and Holt. So, Ivar, tell me, how was your first jaywalk? Because you said in the beginning that it's your first jaywalk. You had already walk, you had uh, European Championships, everything, but not jaywalk. Oh, it was a uh, very nice weather. It was uh, plenty of uh, speakers. I have used to speak uh, one or maybe with two, but we were three. So I had uh, not a lot of job today. So, but it was nice first day. And as we told bef between each other, that very good, that new countries appearing, that they're not the same winning medals, but the new countries among the medalists and also different. So it's uh, making sport interesting when it's uh, one or two countries taking medal all the time. It's uh, getting a little bit boring, but now it was quite, quite interesting and uh, nice, uh, a little bit maybe surprising results, but that's what makes very interesting this sport. And we can see that also in the female class we have uh, Two Hungarians, two Norwegians in the first six, and we have on the sixth place Penelope Salmon from New Zealand, who is not from Europe, so it's, uh, I think, a big surprise, or maybe not, I don't know, Bruno, what yeah, do you think about this? No, I told you in the beginning that she was one of the favorites for today, so not a surprise at all that Penelope Salmon is uh, in uh, the, the top positions. I think the only name uh, that we didn't talk uh, that was on the top six was uh, Christine Melby Jakobson, but maybe that was my mistake because she's, she's a really, really good runner. But all the others we were expecting. The big favorite one, Rita Maro Maroshi. So uh, in the women's side, uh, it's uh, pretty much what we have expected. But on the men's side, it was very, very open race. And it proves that because within one minute, we have 20 runners in one minute. And that is fantastic, 20 runners in one minute. Yeah, for, for New Zealand, this big improvement in the sprint because uh, last year it was uh, Sarah Stewart who was 58 only. Of course, in the fourth distance, it's uh, Zefa Fava was 14th and Kai Jorgensen was 20th in a long distance. But in a sprint, nobody was close to top 30 from New Zealand. But now, top of six. Salmon produces this result. And uh, based on this, uh, tomorrow it's going to be a big battle for the title in the sprint relay. Also, what, about, what about the male's race? The, the men's what, race. The men's race, yeah. yeah. That, uh, Reichenbach is not really a surprise for me because I know that last year the coach was betting that he would go really well on the sprints, but he didn't perform so well. Last year, today, really, really good race. We were really counting with Jurgen Jonas and uh, also a little bit on Guillaume Verhoef. But then a big surprise here for uh, Mathieu Burer. Uh, I didn't even know that Thomas Burer had a son that was uh, already old enough to come for Jaywalk and uh, performing uh, so, so well. He was 16 seconds away from being uh, the junior world champion. So. Really good race for him. But we can see on the men's side, it's a tighter battle for the medals. It's uh, nine seconds separating the first and the third, and only one second between the second and third. But on the women's side, it's already 24 seconds between the first and second. Yeah, and if you look to the first six in the men's side, we have in 20 seconds, six athletes. And women, more than 20 seconds separating the first and second. seconds in the, in the women's side. So we can see also on the women's side, so close battle for the bronze medal between Morg Jakobsen and Oyanaku. Fifth, fourth and third place separated by just three seconds. Okay, and uh, again, uh, we ask uh, the top okay, six Okay, so once again, the first women. six runners. 
please come right near the stage because we are preparing the prize giving ceremony. So the first six in man and the woman. So it's uh, Reichenbach, Germany, Verrove, France, uh, Jonas, Estonia, Burer, Switzerland, Sankelo, Finland, uh, Halopski, Czech Republic. For the men and for the women, Maramaroshi, Wieck, Oyanacho, Jakobsen, Mog, Salmon. And you should come uh, to the right side of the podium, so near the place where you downloaded your SE card. So please, the top six men and women, you should gather on the right side of the podium, the same exact position where you downloaded your SE cards. So uh, we will start with the prize giving ceremony pretty, pretty soon. So please start gathering on the right side of the podium.
So once again, I would like to invite the top six for the medal ceremony. On the men's side, the Reichenbach Germany, Verova, France, Jonas, Estonia, Burer, Switzerland, Sankilo, Finland, and Halopsky, Czech Republic. And on the women's side, Mara Maroshi, Hungary, Vik, Norway, Oya, Naho, Finland, Jakobsen, Norway, Mog, Hungary, and Salmon, New Zealand. All those who, which I called, please gather next to the stage for the award ceremony, for the medal ceremony. Please uh, hurry up, all the medalists. Within the two minutes time, you should be next to the stage. If you are not within two minutes, so the medals will go to the next who will come. As I said, that if you are not coming, you will lose a medal. So we can see all, all top six here. Ladies. The girl from the second place has her birthday. It's her birthday. No, it's her Norwegian. 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 Yeah. Yes, yeah. Oh, second place, yes. They are making the photo during the dance. Yeah, okay. it's not mostly when they are present. I will say this one, and you say that in uh, Romania, and then I will say medal presented by those two, and then you say this. Oh, all hold this together, yeah. Okay.
Ladies and gentlemen, medal ceremony for the Women's Junior World Championships 2023 Sprint Distance. Medals are presented by Mr. Zentai Laszlo, International Oil Clearing Federation Council member, accompanied by Jonot Patras, President of the Romanian Oil Clearing Federation. Doamnelor și domnilor, urmează festivitatea de premiere pentru campionatul mondial de orientare pentru tineret în prova de sprint. Medaliile vor fi înmânate de către domnul Zento Ilaslu, membru în Consiliul Federației Internaționale de Orientare, însoțit de domnul Patra și Ionuț, președintele Federației Române de Orientare. Sixth place, representing New Zealand, Penelope Salmon. Locul 6 din Noua Zeelandă, Penelope Salmon. Fifth place, representing Hungary, Victoria Mok. Locul 5 din Ungaria, Mok Victoria. Fourth place, representing Norway, Christine Melby Jakobsen. Locul 4 din Norvegia, Christine Melby Jakobsen. Third place and bronze medalist, representing Finland, Eva Lina Oyanako. Medaille de bronze, merge către Finlanda, Eva Lina Oyanako. Silver medalist representing Norway, Pia Young Vik. Medaille de Argent in Norwegia, Pia Young Vik. Ladies and gentlemen, the gold medalist and 2023 World Junior Champion in a sprint distance, representing Hungary. Rita Maramaroshi! Domnilor și domnilor, medaliat cu aur și campioană mondială la tineret, la orientare, din Ungaria, Maramaroshi Rita! And now, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of the winner, national anthem of Hungary.
Applauses and congratulations to the top six and medal winners as well. Once again, congratulations and also with the birthday for Pia Youngvik, Norwegian. Gratulere med dagen. Only top three, and now only the medalists. Thank you very much. Hostenom, Tusentak, Kitos. Ladies and gentlemen, the medal ceremony for the Men's Junior World Orienting Championship 2023 distance. Doamnelor și domnilor, urmează festivitatea de premiere pentru campionatul mondial de orientare pentru tineret în prova de sprint masculin. Medaliile vor fi înmânate de către domnul Zento Ilasto, membru în Consiliul Federației Internaționale de Orientare, însoțit de Patra și Ionuț, președintele Federației Române de Orientare. Locul 6 din Cehia, Jakub Chalupski. Locul 5 din Finlanda, Sampo Sankelo. Locul 4 din Elveția, Mafie Bure. Dali Jones merge către Estonia, Jürgen Jones. 